Hey, uh, bounce here, squid. Can I have a more buoyant calamari, please? There he goes. Hey, now you guys can talk. There you ah, go. he's back. <laughs> How you guys doing? Um, Miss Creation's uh, webcam just disappeared on my overlay for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, so, so that's cool. Yeah, my exist. I'm out. What's happening? <laughs> so Y2K. Uh, uh, again. Oh no. Did you say again? <laughs> yes. Y2K. <laughs> All right, uh, I think I can be able to fix this real quick. Hold on. I got this. I got this. I know what I'm doing. Solar flares, you know. Solar flares. You guys remember when Y2K was like the, the worst thing that could possibly be happening in the world at the moment? Oh, yeah. People thought planes would fall out of the sky and... and now we're worried about yeah, World War III. Like it's not working. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Love it, dude. <laughs> Love it. There you go. You know, I'd be really, really... What would be really funny is if we could go in time and be like, hey, you know what? In like, what is it, 22 some, or 20 years? In 2020, uh, we, we have a global pandemic. You might want to worry about that. Yeah. Get, oh, no, well, no, no one would like believe that. Putin still well, wouldn't stop people from being stupid about <laughs> it. I was going to say, like, they'd be like, okay, <laughs> cool. That, that doesn't sound like a big deal. World War Three. I'd work out the date that Putin, Putin was conceived, take his mum out that night instead, so that she doesn't end up getting pregnant. I was gonna say, there's a billionaire, like, <laughs> that put a bounty on his head for, like, a million dollars. Oh my god, the world is in such a shit place. Anyways, let's not try to back bog down too much stuff. Also, we don't want to get in trouble with the TOS stuff. Um, yep. Correct. But let's see, um... We talked about doing a uh, a player kind of recap about what happened. Uh, so let's oh, let's yeah, implement that. Who wa who wants to? Anyone want to volunteer? Where's my notes? For uh, a uh, has notes, inspiration but... point. I I guess I will since I I took notes. Okay, uh, go ahead and give us uh, give us a recap. <laughs> okay, so we were heading to Bastion Bay to get to the coast. Uh, Bastion Bay is a huge port town. Uh, we found a hut that had salted meats in it and left two silver behind. I forgot about that. Uh, from me. Um, <laughs> although Lushu took some and put it, stashed it in his pack, didn't pay for it. Yeah, Gave some to Kyrian, though. He's got the cursed meat. The treat. <laughs> um, and then Lushu, <laughs> while he was in some weird aggression state while trying to meditate, uh, decided to prank me. By putting uh, some of those salted meats that he had shaved off and put them on my face, to which he then had Kyrian pounce on me to wake me up. Uh, yeah, and I then remember. tried to blame poor Kyrian. Mm. Like, that would, that would actually work. Anyway, uh, then we were pretty much at the outside of the gates uh, to Bastion Bay, where we were met by a sheep so fair, shine bright, uh, and he had a scroll of modified animal speak to Eva. I have a friend. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, Master Knox uh, wanted the sheep badly. Master Knox is, I guess, the guy that wanted the sheep. If I remember. Because we didn't hear a whole bunch about him. Um, and I stepped into it by having Kyrian pop into full size mode after, you know, my Jedi mind trick did not work. Oh, I was unmuted. Sounds about right. Um, anyone else have anything to add? Or does it sound just fine? Uh, that is pretty Echo... much yeah, Echo cast, uh, fire, fireball. Uh, pretty much taking out some wolves. Uh, we managed to kill the orc and guz, um, as well as the brown bear druid person. And the dire wolves fled back into the stronghold, and with that, we ended the night. 
Sounds good to me. Kick butt took names. Yeah. Exactly correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, right. But as you guys can see, we got the lovely Nat back. Uh, so uh, we'll have Vasha back online, which is great. Nat attack. Uh, the Nat attack. I love that. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to pick up right after uh, the battle literally just ended. So uh, the dust is barely just settling. Um, unless anyone else has anything else to add about anything else to say. We good? Pretty much all of it. I'm good. Yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> the second start then. Yeah. Starting on time. This is amazing. Um, let's see. Um, after the dust settles, um, uh, Noke is, you know, unconscious. Um, so is the other orc. I think the bear and a couple of the other wolves since... You know, their handler, that's the word I was looking for last week, um, got, I think he got incinerated by a fireball from uh, Echo. Um, and they got also feared by Echo, so I think they just went full animal mode and said, F this, I'm out. And uh, they, they booked it. Um, but um, after the death settles, um, you are now standing here in this partial battlefield uh, with this sheep that's been trying to talk to you. Uh, I will say that the scroll of speak to animals uh, is, is still in effect, so you can still speak uh, to the animal uh, or Eva. Uh, okay, so... You know what? Let's... Well, since it's the modified version, we'll say, like, anyone that reads the scroll c can get the, the spell effect, so you don't have to translate it to the rest of the players <laughs> just for I mean, ease. either way i'd have to pop out of wild shape because like i can't talk yeah that's right <laughs> well i can understand sheep speak in my bear speak but they can't understand my bear speak <gasps> just stay in wild sheep or wild shape and the players oh, wait, have to translate they... bear from sheep i was gonna say if they used to speak to animals could they understand the bear speech they absolutely could Oh, this is a whole new power. <laughs> <laughs> We've got it made, folks. We've got it. Yeah. Ultimate power. It's a strategy Ultimate from all along. <laughs> that would be a, like a, a fun little thing to have. Just make like a special spell to like speak to wild shaped druid. <laughs> I, I would love that. <laughs> just like just go full persona. It's like this is all I am. I'm an animorph. <laughs> And I've stayed so in the form for two hours. Now. Yeah, I'm I'm only bear now. <laughs> oh God. Anyways, no, um, we're not having furries on this team. I'm already for it. a furry. Listen. Yeah, confirmed. <laughs> confirmed. I'm the token furry. Listen, Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So, are you gonna pop out, or are you gonna stay? Uh, you know what. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I guess I'm just going to pop out and make things easier. Okay. Uh, then I guess it's uh, on you if you have questions for uh, Shine Bright. Find your Shine Bright. I'm going to ask him if he's okay. Because I saw him get picked up by a wolf and that's not good. <laughs> oh, yeah, he got full on mouths. Yeah. <laughs> he got grappled. He's that's just true. A little sheep. <clears throat> He almost beat it. That was amazing because he rolled like a 17 and the wolf rolled like a 2. Um, he kind of shakes himself off. He's a little shaken because, you know, been in a wolf mouth as a sheep. He's like, I, I seem to be fine. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Right, Thank you so very much understand? for your help. Ask him where he came from and, and why he's here. Well, how he ended up here? Uh, well, uh, up until two years ago, I, I owned and worked for a tower on the outskirts of town. I, I was a, I was a very prominent wizard of no small talent. I uh, specialized in uh, transmutation magics. Oh man, that voice is gonna get annoying. Um, <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, one night, my uh, my apprentice, that that foul fiend. Turn me into this sheep. A corner check, please. Just make sure that he's not actually a talking sheep and lying. Go for it. Uh, um, do, 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 do. Where's my dice? Here it is. Oh, for God's sake. Skills, a corner. 
Do do do. Sorry about that. Boom. Um. So from what you can tell is uh, holy shit. <laughs> oh, you rolled a third. I was misreading that. I was like, you rolled a three and got seventeen. That's amazing. Could you imagine? <laughs> um. Yeah. From what you can tell, the there is magic happening here. Um, and okay. it it does seem to be that the the sheep is uh possibly in like a polymorph state. Okay, I'll turn to everyone and say that it seems like he's telling the truth. Okay. Can you tell us more about this Master Knox person? Uh, Noak. Um. Noak. Yeah. Well. Uh, he he was um my apprentice for many many years. Uh. He he showed quite talent. He seemed to become uh, disgruntled with uh, my teaching practices. And uh, one night I woke up and he, in an angry state, he uh, clutched my prized possession. He's in dangerous, or possession of a very dangerous artifact. And he transformed me into this sheep. For two years, I've been in this sheep form. I've been a, a virtual prisoner in my own garden. I, I was, I've been forced to graze on nothing but grass and buttercups while hungry other beasts have been, you know, gar making guard of the, the grounds. Okay, first of all, there's nothing wrong with being a sheep. Let's, let's not <laughs> harp on the sheep. We love sheep. Sheep are great creatures. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, yeah. Going full <laughs> nature cleric here. Fuck you. Mr. Too Good to be a sheep. <laughs> Two. What is this dangerous artifact you're talking about? Uh, he kind of looks sheepishly at you. Ha! Oh, uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um. Fuck you. Uh, he, dude, how do you how do you expression a sheep? I don't know, but he, his eyes kind of look down, and uh, he says, uh. It's a, it was one of my wands. And uh, he, he's using it for evil, obviously. He must be stopped. Last night has, was the first time in many months when uh, Noak left his home without closing the door. I snuck in, made my way to my old bookshelf, and I stole this scroll. I rushed to town with the scroll in my teeth and was searching desperately for an aura of magic that would indicate someone would be able to activate the this, this spell. And that's when I found you. <laughs> the sheep voice is killing me. <laughs> I hate it. It's getting worse. Like I'm not doing the ah! stuff in it because it's like I, it's gonna ruin my throat, and I hate it. But whatever. <laughs> um, You're doing okay. great. <laughs> my chat. My t my players are bullying me. <laughs> Stop making it I'm so encouraging easy. Encouraging you, bullying you. That is the question. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Justice um, for sheep. God damn it. So, so you say that yesterday was the first time in two years he has left the door unattended. That seems yes. a little odd. He he's a very what's that word? Um, Ooh, not suspicious. Um. Paranoid? Thank you. He's a very paranoid individual. Hello. He's always okay. thinking someone's looking out for him. I mean, look what he did to me. He's probably worried someone else will do something similar. If he left the door open, it sounds like he's getting careless. Overconfident, it's, maybe? It's, it's very rare. He must have just forgotten. Like I said, in two years, it's only happened maybe twice. How do you know, do you know how you can activate the spell to get you back to your former self? Yes, yes, absolutely. I just need that wand. Seems fair enough. Uh, Lucio, go ahead and roll a, a constitution save. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. Lucio's hurt. I'm all ill. <clears throat> hey! That's, oh, that's not bad. Come on. How come the? How come you rolled normal? Shouldn't you have been at a disadvantage? I think since we started a new session, maybe you have to apply the debuff. 
Yeah, let's check. Yeah. Combat tracker. It should stay. It still says you have advantage or a uh, disadvantage on a oh ability checks, not saves. Thank goodness. Ah, there you go. Screw that. Do a check. I'm kidding. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you you are fine. Uh, you seem to have you know no issue uh, whatsoever. You don't even notice there would be an issue, so you're fine. Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, but I guess this is still you guys. You're you're talking to the sheep here. So should we make a plan or get in I, there? I don't necessarily. I don't know. Should we help the sheep? That is the question. I, I, I kind of want to help the sheep. <laughs> I want to help the sheep. <laughs> the poor guy. You know. Like imagine. Not that sheep aren't you know great, but imagine just being a sheep. Yeah, for two I, years. I don't... Sounds like a horrible thing. I wouldn't want to live like that. No. There's I fluffy prey. <laughs> just wander off. In two years, you you can't tell me that in two years he hasn't tried to like eat himself out of whatever pen he's in. Oh, if, in a pen, in a are, if you do you say that out loud to him? No, we're we're talking as a group very quietly. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Well, I'll say that he doesn't. Well, you guys are elves. You could talk in elf, I guess. Um, elf although right, that's not... You don't know what languages he knows, so... Whatever. Uh, well, I mean... Considering that I speak probably some, most of the languages... No! You speak like four or five, and there's like 40. <clears throat> um, but the sheep uh, kind of takes notice of Lushu in that uh, grievous wound that he has. And kind of, with his dumb little sheep bell, ding, 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 kind of walks over and says, uh, Quite the wound you got there. That, that is not a... Are you, are you aware of what uh, is in store for you, my friend? That doesn't sound good. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You drank from the flipping swamp water. I didn't drink it. I poured it onto my wound. But, um... Uh, you don't know what was in that. What? You didn't know what was going to kill you? Yeah. There was a 50-50 chance that it would have yeah. done well or go badly. Fair, I, I don't care what anyone ever says. There's always a 50-50% on everything. Okay? Now, even with the lottery, you either win it or you don't. <laughs> there's no there's no one in 18 million. No, you win or you don't. That's it. 50-50. Oh, sure. so I, took, I took the risk. Yeah, All right. Do not risk. take math advice from cereal, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Hey, listen, dude. I'm a drummer. One, two, three, four. That's all I know. Yeah, yeah I can. Okay. I can that's count to math. four, baby. <laughs> okay. But here it comes using, again. Using, with the using that logic. Losing that logic. The Lushu logic, yo. That needs to be a thing. <laughs> Hashtag Lushu logic. Using that logic, that it would either help me or hinder me. <clears throat> indeed, indeed. So you know, the sheep might. The sheep might be telling me what lays in store for me. I could become a god. We don't know. I'd say we don't know. Fifty fifty chance of becoming a god, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I either will or I won't. What are you gonna be? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, wait no, because I might or wait for it. I might, might not. not. That's the <laughs> that's my logic. <laughs> it's a yes or a no. Oh no. This this uh, being a thief makes total sense now. Either I get caught, <laughs> or I don't. <laughs> Cup full, exactly. cup empty. Exactly. <laughs> I stab this guy in the neck, or I don't. He's a very, like, very so binary I'm mind. I'm yes or no. Black and white. I'm not. <laughs> That's it. It's like, hey, do I steal his wallet, or do I get, uh, like, attempted to uh, get hit because I attempted to touch his butt? Yep. It's 50-50 there. Exactly. Um, okay, so, so the she Shine Ripe says this to you. And, uh, how, how do you respond to that? Um, uh, right, in all seriousness, um, I say, um, I ask him what it is that he knows about my ailment, and if there's any sort of advice he can give me 
um, which could aid in my healing. Okay. Uh, he kind of trots away for a second. He, he finds like a, a little, a little stone and kind of clumps his sheep rump down on it, and you know, <laughs> trying to sit like a human, but is sheep. Rump. And uh, says, "Uh, I'm about to make him a bazaar." <laughs> Might I ask you a few questions? Have a sheep trying to crush his legs now. He's trying to sit properly. Listen, Shinebright may be a sheep, but he is a proper sheep, right? He's a very high up wizard. Trying to get one hoof over the other. If you gave him tea, he would try to find a way to stick a pinky out with his hoof. Whatever. Too stumpy. Um, so he, he says to you, uh, have you noticed, uh, any forms of, uh, increased aggression or agitation lately? Um, is, is Lushu aware that he is changing in the personality or not? Uh, yeah, uh, well, I guess because maybe this question might make him think there's like, I have been, yeah. like, meditating hasn't helped kind of thing. Um, yeah. I'll say that then, yeah. I'll tell him that the meditation hasn't been going as it usually does since I've applied my <laughs> cure-all. <laughs> to, to to, to yeah, because your meditation um, have been terrifying. They've been, like, nightmarish. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Weird bacteria water. <laughs> the bacteria water. He says, mm, mm, yes, yes, indeed, that could happen. And then uh, uh, he says, any other unusual symptoms? I feel like you owe him five cents for some of this therapy. <laughs> I'm not too sure. I can't remember, to be honest. <clears throat> um, I mean, you could obviously make some stuff up um, as well, and we can just roll with it. But uh, yeah, increased agitation. Um, you get some like pangs from uh, the wound, even though it seems to have been cauterized um, every now and then. Um, but yeah. I need to stop playing with this. This gun needs to go away. Go away. Um, so we'll say you just relayed some stuff that you've happened to notice that's slightly different. May or not be symptoms, but you just kind of be like, okay, well, if I'm something's wrong with me, here's a bunch of weird stuff. Um, he kind of shakes his head, ding 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 ding, with his little bell. Um, he says, mm, yes. Well, if you are. Uh, Get me back to my true form, I'm sure we could handle it. You don't want that to go much longer, my friend. The full moon is approaching. Sure. <laughs> oh. oh, great. Hell yeah. Oh, no, I'm doing it. 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 Listen, yeah, I've, I've, so I've played, so I've, I've played, I, I have played over 2,000 hours of Skyrim and I always chose the vampire. Yeah, it's time oh, to be a werewolf. Shit. Let's do this. Who I, said I, anything I, about a werewolf? Oh. I, oh, that's, that's what I'm thinking. That's what we should right now. <laughs> He's like, oh, hell yeah, let me be a werewolf. Wait, are you aware what werewolf is in D&D? It's very different. Being a werewolf in D&D is very different. Just a heads up. I want to be a werewolf. That is going off the assumption that you it is a werewolf. But, uh, you don't know. You... Obviously, you don't know what it is. He's just scared because he's a sheep, and wolves eat sheep. So he's just scared. That's all. It must. It must be a wolf. Lucy logic. Well, to be fair, let's think about it. I either will or I won't. Okay. In the last two years, I'm surprised that Knock didn't even bother to try to just cook the sheep and be done with it. Well, it's it's his old master. Uh, he obviously doesn't want. If he's a sheep now, I mean, what better way to get rid of your old master than to eat the sheep? You he you also don't know his full motivations. Daddy. You don't know his full motivations for keeping him around as well. Right? He might still Maybe, want uh... info from him or need him as a hostage or. Huh. Maybe he's a that, that is true. Maybe he's a vegetarian. <laughs> big Maybe. big brain right there. True. Anyway. Mr. Shinebright, how exactly are you um, suggesting we go about turning you back into an actual person and not a sheep? We need a wand. Um, yeah, 
the, the yeah, wand. I, I know, but how exactly are we to acquire the wand? Yeah, where can we find the wand? I mean, at some point, you have had to see his lair. How exactly do we get to the lair? Well, his lair is, uh... The, Noak's lair is Shinebright's lair, so he knows the area, you know, intimately. Um, Noak just took it over. Um, it's, it's just a... It's like a wizard tower. Um, and he just... As far as you, he's explained to you is, uh... He just needs the wand, and then he can, you know, transform himself back. Okay, <clears throat> so my suggestion is that maybe one or two of us go into town and kind of scout this tower to see if there's any... Hang on. Um... Wait. How much you, uh, or what are we going to get uh, for doing this for you? <laughs> Thinking like a rogue. I, like I was going to say, I was like, that's a, that's a Lushu thing. Yeah, um, he he kind of looks at you yeah, like... Lushu wants to be aware being, okay? He, he looks at you a little bit yeah. bewildered with that yeah. question, and, uh... He, he goes to reiterate, Did I not mention I'm a very wealthy and powerful wizard? You did indeed, but that has nothing to do with you, our payment. <laughs> say, you only what do you need? You're a powerful wizard. You didn't mention anything about being wealthy. Well, I guess it goes without saying. Usually wizards are pretty well off. Um, it's like, What is it you want? Just get me out of the state. So you'll compensate us well. Yes, yes, please, help. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Money, oh let's go. You but, don't uh, serve. We still need to figure out if, if, if the lair is being, like, guarded and how many guards are there. So I, my suggestion is that we go scout it. Yeah. Oops. <gasps> Shit. No. Um. How long does the modified spell of animal speak? work um uh, couple hours i mean you still have it you could just reuse it so as long as nothing yeah, happens to it so with that i could talk to kirian so i mean theoretically if we send tiny little kirian in his kitten form that could work or that's a good idea rather i have to roll to achieve that to get kirian to get there well kirian doesn't know how to get there is the first thing well, the sheep is probably going to tell us how to get there. Yeah. I mean, you could, you should probably relay that information to people to figure stuff, stuff out. Uh, so I say to the party, I say, um, so my idea, since we now have this uh, spell that allows us to talk to animals, is that we send Kyrian, as he is the least conspicuous of us all, to go ahead and scout the lair. But in order to do that, Mr. Sheep, we we need you to give directions to uh, this lair. The sheep's has no eyebrows. Okay. Uh, the sh the sheep the sheep's <laughs> eyes get bigger. I was going to say the sheep's eyebrows raise, but no eyebrows. Um the, his eyes get wide and he says, "I would not recommend that the uh, there are many patrols, and there are guards. Uh, there's definitely some uh, things that might eat your uh, your kitty cat. You you do remember that said kitty cat can also turn into a full-size panther. Can he take on multiple guards alone? Yeah? <laughs> I don't know. It depends if he can get the jump on him, maybe. <laughs> um... Shine bright kind of well, reiterates it's like why, why don't I just lead you down uh the path to the tower wait wait does anyone have polymorph because uh, if we have the sheep it's gonna be very conspicuous I have unseen servant we could send the unseen servant that's a good idea I don't remember it's I think unseen servant has to stay within a certain range of you it's a little why does it someone just dress up 60 as a feet. shepherd? I mean, because they're looking for this particular sheep, and we've already tried to Jedi mind trick our way out of the sheep not being seen. Uh, yeah, um, it says you have to move up to 15 feet and to rest. Your servant can only be 60 feet, Echo. Or it has to be within 60 feet. I reckon we should get close and then send something in. Is, so, is there a back doorway that is not as heavily guarded? 
Like I said, he's a very paranoid individual. I'm sure there's guards on patrol. Well, he's not, I'm sure. He knows. He's like, there's guards on patrol day and night. Oh, I, mm, I have a weird theory that may or may not work. So I want to hear this theory. <laughs> they're looking for the sheep. They had a bear mm -hmm. with them. <laughs> what if? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, go on. <laughs> no, 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 go, on. No, go on, go on. <laughs> I know where this is going. What if I make it look like I'm trying to take the sheep back when in all reality <laughs> that is the opposite all right. of my plan. I have very sneaky and brilliant players and I need to keep this in mind. <sighs> this is, this is my I love one thought. Yes, yes. They had, that I could can't. work. This is the life of a DM. You can't plan for anything. That's <laughs> exactly my point. <laughs> Exactly. As long as you don't turn back and they're like, oh my that's God, also a good idea. You know, <laughs> whatever you guys want to do, go for it. I mean, that's and I, I mean, like the... idea. okay. And also, what if <laughs> I don't know if this would work, but is Kirian in his yeah. kitten form small enough that he could like hide in my fur or something for backup? He is back to kitten mode, yes. Um, let's see. I, I guess it depends on how furry you are. Not counting That's furry. Yeah, question. yeah. I was gonna say, I heard the snort. <laughs> how long your fur is. There you go. Um, he might be able to, he might be able to uh, like, sneak your, into the sheep's wool. You're tough. I mean, the sheep's very woolly, I'm assuming. Shine bright. Um, I don't know. It, I guess you know because it's it's what did I say? It's like springish, so maybe they uh they sheared him recently, or somewhat recently, so he can, you know, do sheep things. I don't know sheep things, man. <laughs> Just sheep things. Sheep things. <laughs> I did not expect that depth of a question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I need to know if the sheep is sheared or if he's still woolly. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's got wool, but like, it's it's not super thick. And on top of that, wool, sh sheep wool is super thick. I don't even think a kitten could fit in it, even if it was like yeah, covered. It's, dense. it's like a brick of fur. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, worst case, Carrion is super dark fur, so he could always hide in the shadow of your giant bear self. Well, I don't want to step on him by accident. <laughs> I mean, um, uh, we could we could give him a, a stealth check kind of thing if he wanted to do that. Oh, that could, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could do that. Um, I need to carry in sheet, though, because I think he has stats. Oh, little man. Cookie time. I need Kyrian sheet. Professionals. Oh my god, I forgot to turn off the alerts. <laughs> I gotta do that. Hold on. <laughs> Hi Yuri. Who even was that? That's that was Yuri. I need I need to turn off those things. Real quick. I will get the dogs a treat in a second. Alright, turning all these off. Um where were we? You guys are were deciding what you're gonna do. I needed Kyrian Sheet to make a stealth check to see if he would go unnoticed. Jada, come here. In the bear's fur. Um, go ahead. Oh, you need his sheet? I wish I could just say, like, yeah, hey, this I is... Think he has, I think he has stats. Yeah, he does. Um, I wish I could just be like, this is this person's character. They're always in charge of it. Uh, did you get it? Ooh, I can just roll it, too. Okay, okay so... you can do it. Yep. They have a stealth, yeah. They have a stealth plus six, that's dope. Where, where is stealth? Um, it's on just his basic page, and yeah, Got there you it. go. Cool. Oh, no, almost no. an 18. Well, why don't we use one of those? Make it quick. Oh, it was so bad. Yeah, that was a, that's a rough roll. So, well, I guess... 
You guys probably should have decided what you're doing before that roll. So decide what you're doing before actually knowing what that roll is. And we're going to go for it. Um. So are you guys moving it forward with uh, Eva ch shape-shifting into bear and uh, Kyrian being kitten form? And you guys are going to walk up to the tower? Is that it? Yes. Is it just you two? And the sheep. Well, right. Who, who, what's the rest of the party doing? In her mouth. I mean, how else am I going to make it look authentic? I was going to say, uh, Shine Bright is not thrilled with this idea. <laughs> Be careful. You didn't mention that to Shine Bright. <laughs> Are there like. Right. Hey, do you want to help or not? <laughs> yeah. He... Yeah, you guys are making this plan without having any idea where this place is at. So, <laughs> or, like, what you're doing. Um, so, so you well, asked that to Shine Bright? He could lead us there. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, he, we'll say Fasha asked that before you guys come up with this plan and uh, present it to him. Um, he says, uh, the path goes up, uh, up the main road uh, a few miles out of town. Uh, goes between... Uh, uh, some gaps of bushes over there. Uh, it's a uh, the, the route is pretty solid, but it goes through a bunch of trees. Um, it goes a little bit into the forest. Okay. Is there a way to like if it's like through the town and then out of town on the other side? Is there a way for the rest of the party to like meet back up when we're back out and like into the woods? Like, is, there... is it still really heavily patrolled? On just like hiding in a tree. <laughs> it's a good plan. I am tree. <laughs> Become tree. Um. So, so did you you wanted to follow along, Vasha? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, kind of just like keep an eye out if like things go south. I'm okay. Ready to help. Um. Okay, this is also forest territory, correct? Yeah, uh, you'd you'd be going through you know some tall oak trees and stuff um, to to get I to the tower. I have advantage in forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you get some bonuses. <clears throat> so I guess I can also be the the other person to Vasha to go with the the animals. Okay, uh, what's Lushu and Echo gonna do? I mean, half the party. Oh, you're uh, you're muted. I was sorry. I'm I'm, I'm feeding Odin. No, uh, um, Miss Creation's uh, muted. Miss Creation, you're uh, muted. We can't hear you. There you go. I'm gonna follow, but I'm gonna hang back a bit, just so that you know, just in case something goes down. Okay. Lushu, uh, you doing the same? Yeah, okay. I'll do the same. I guess the the whole party's just going then. Um, how far back do you guys want to hang from a? About 20, 10 feet. 10 feet from the party? That are walking up? Yeah. I'm gonna be um, I'd say maybe 20. Yeah. Okay, 20. Okay. Um, I guess uh, everyone that is not part of the sneak party uh, roll a stealth. And everyone that is part of the sneak party... Uh, I guess you guys are just walking up. Uh, Kyrian already rolled. Stealth. Nice I'm roll, one. Pancake. Jeez. Yeah, I got I'm, the, I'm, I'm the roll that I was hoping Kyrian would get. I'm also going up, so skills, stealth. Wait, why, why did I roll two? Because you're, you're exhausted. Oh, you two fifteens, you lucky dog. <laughs> You still rolled higher. Holy crap. It's amazing. What? You still, like, at a disadvantage roll, you still rolled crazy high. Okay. Um, so everyone that is stealthing save Kyrian um, are pretty well hidden. Um, you're, you're walking through uh, the woods for a couple miles. Um, you, you see a, a large tower uh, sticking out. From the woods, as you begin to approach, you notice um, that rather than a uh, stone or glass, the house before you seems to have been formed from the the living branches 
of uh, four st sturdy oak trees. Uh, they've been shaped and woven to create three uh, thick platforms. Uh, the lowest of the platform is roughly, roughly 40 feet across, uh, sits about 10 feet from the ground. Uh, and the only obvious route up to is a, a gentle slope uh, formed out of roots and branches that connects roughly up the main path. Uh, branches curl around its base, creating a rough bowl shape around it. Um, from where you stand, it's possible to see the flowers and small trees still kind of like growing around its edges. Um, but by far the largest of the tr three platforms is in the middle, which looks like to be around 60 feet across, uh, about 20 feet above the ground. Uh, it's fully enclosed uh, by a wall formed from uh, twisting branches. Uh, you can see evenly spaced uh, window-sized gaps um, as well. What appears to be uh, a door at one point ahead. Um, it's closest to the, the garden uh, platform, which is the smaller one. Uh, and the final tallest platform, uh, it's roughly about 30 feet above the ground. And uh, it's much smaller than the others. It looks to be linked to the central platform by another small slope. Um, and scattered beneath the platforms are two small wooden huts uh, and uh, a large outhouse. Um, I'm going to say you guys are like 50 feet away still. Um, you're stealth and fine enough that, you know, you know, Kirin doesn't get seen or anything. Um, but you guys, you're able to observe all this um, from the this distance you're at. Oops. Let me... Is this the wrong one? Uh oh. I'm trying to find the, uh, an image for you guys. Uh oh. Where is it? Um, I guess you guys can, uh, there you go. Figure out what you're thinking there. Aha, here you go. Share. There you go. Did you guys get that? Or chant? Nope. Which one are we looking for? I wish it would open up. All right, it's all black again, of course. Why isn't it? Or why wouldn't it be? Um, if you go to your images, it's uh, Noakes Tower. And for some reason, it's black. Again. Because I guess we're not on the map. Yep. Because that's what happened last time. Yep. I have it. Also, let's, uh, we got to clear out the past combat. Delete, 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 delete. Don't delete Shine Bright. Um, I'm going to drag you guys onto the map. You guys are going to be slightly off the map for now because, or we can, we'll get you onto the map once we can. Oh. Yeah, right. Um, What's the map called? Uh, it's called uh, Noakes Tower. I'm, I'm dragging you guys on right now. So hopefully it'll be showing up for you guys here in a second. Uh, and Eva's in brown bear form, so... And carrying Shine Bright. Carefully, of course. Yeah, yeah he's, he's <laughs> not very happy right. about this, this ordeal. Um, also, I should probably switch scenes. You know, he's in scenes. a mouth. You know, he just got over an ordeal with being in a wolf's mouth, and now mm -hmm. he's in a bear's mouth. And... Our man had no chance. Okay, so everyone, you can see the... Uh, the map, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Cool. Um, so there's the map before you. I'm trying to get fantasy grounds up. Dude, it's not cooperating. There it goes. Um We'll uh we'll calculate or figure out how much distance and stuff you guys are from each other in a second. But um this is kind of the map that you see before you you see a a couple apes uh outside the compound just kind of doing ape stuff. Um, you know, there's, um, <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. 
Um, so, just, just, just ape stuff. Yeah, just ape stuff. There, there seem to be a uh, some swords like stuck into the ground around them. They're you know playing with some oversized balls and stuff uh, in the yard. Um, but that this is kind of what you guys are seeing uh, as you approach the platforms or the the tower. Would those apes happen to be just transfigured people, like the sheep? Uh, you don't know. Um... Can I ask the sheep that question? Uh, you're 20 feet behind him, or at, and in Eva's mouth? <laughs> uh, he, he angrily uh, responds, I guess, um, because, you know, he's not happy where he's at. He's like, what the hell do you think? Yes. I mean, you tell us. <laughs> he, he turns I mean, up his. He turns up his snoot. Gonna mean that we. He's he's very upset. Okay, so I guess you just want murder. <laughs> Here we're gonna. Um. Okay. We're actually gonna organize you guys. A little bit. To make a little more sense. Okay, so, you. Are carrying him and Kyrian is there as well. 5, 10, 15, 20. I can't back you guys up any further. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll say you guys are, are safe right here still. You're a little further out, but uh, the map won't let me do it. So um, that's kind of what we got to deal with. Also, I don't like that you guys just see a bunch of black. Because, for some reason, the map is not sharing the fog of war properly. It's just kind of annoying. I wish it would. Yep. Oh, you guys aren't supposed to be able to see that. It's closed. How come you guys are able to see it? Anyway, okay. There's a problem there. You're not supposed to be able to see in that. That's a window. <laughs> uh, you're too below the ground to be able to see it. It's fine. Um. Anyway, so you guys are approaching the camp here. Uh, Eva's got uh, Shine Bright in his, or her mouth and uh, is starting to approach the uh, the encampment. Uh, the, the apes take notice of you, obviously, because you're not stealthing in. You're just kind of Walking in, and they start pounding their chest um, at you, and uh, they they take notice that there there's a kitten following you around, and uh, they are uh, confused, um, and, but they don't understand why uh, there's there's a kitten following you along. So I guess how how would you would you approach this? Looking act cute. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Ape noises pointing at the cat. I don't want to do ape noises. That hurts. <laughs> don't, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> uh, I guess the best way to approach at least the kitten situation is to act nonchalant about it. That like, uh, yeah, it's a cat. I am the apex predator here. Whatever. If it wants to follow me, okay. <laughs> uh, Karian just acting all kinds of cutesy, you know, like just weaving in and out of your legs, acting cute while you're standing still so he doesn't get stepped on. That That's what you want Kyrian yeah. to do? Um. I do not want to step on him. Okay, they are uh, they're gonna roll Oh, wait, I gotta open up this combat. Here you go. Oop. There you go. I was gonna say, can does does Kieran, I mean he's not stealthy, but can he make a deception roll? That's pretty much what they're gonna be doing. Uh so these are the apes that you guys see. Um did you guys see those before, the apes? Yeah. Okay, good. Um so those are the apes you guys see, they're each gonna have to roll uh here. Boop, boop, boop. All right, I'm just going to roll this three times. 
Wow, they rolled garbage, except for that guy. He rolled decent. Yes. Um, yeah. That guy rolled somewhat decent. Uh, anyways, so um, two of them are just kind of like, well, whatever, and they go back to playing with the, the balls and the, the dice that are on the, the lawn. Oh, my God. The Fantasy Grounds overlay is awful right now for some reason. Why? Why are you so bad? There. It's too large. <laughs> Sorry, trying to get it to fit in OBS, and I didn't realize it was so bad. Because I have it on a different monitor. That's why. Um, so they... The other two apes just kind of like, they don't care. Um, whatever. It seems not to be a problem, but the, the third ape is uh, obviously suspicious about what the heck's going on and uh, begins to approach. Can I move this, please, for the love of God? Thank you. Um, and begins to approach you. That would be... Which one was that? This guy. So, uh, he ooh, 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 kind of walks up. Open Fantasy Grounds. Thank you. And uh, starts coming up to you uh, slowly to kind of further investigate. And... I mean, worst case, carry and just, just run back. And, uh... Okay, everyone else's stealth was pretty high, but you guys are within 20 feet of him, uh, so he's going to get an advantage on his check to see if he sees anything goofy. Okay, he... Oh, that was... 14, 17. Okay, so he sees... Echo... He just sees Echo because everyone else rolled higher. Um, but he does see Echo kind of sl slinking away in the distance. And uh, he, he points and starts, ah! you know, sc screaming ape noises. And oh, oh, he starts pounding his chest, slamming the ground. And uh, that is a uh, roll for initiative. He he's alerting everyone else that's in the compound. Oops. Okay. And you... Initiative NPC. Is there an initiative on the bear form page or is it just on the regular one? Um, I think it's just yours and then I just update the bear. Okay. So it goes at the same time as you. Got it. I think all my hunter's mark stuff is still on me. Okay, we'll have to remove that. Oh, that's because, yeah, there was no sleep. Oh, oh, Echo, you rolled intelligence. <laughs> Oh, wrong initiative. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to roll twice. You're fine. Uh, you had twenty, so yep. yeah. I thought the first one didn't go through. It's fine. Eva got a five. That means Bear is five. And Asha, you got a twenty. He's exhausted. Why am I doing intelligence over now? Um, uh, initiative is on your main page, and it's uh, init. It's next to your AC. It's, it's next to speed. Right in the center. Oh my god. <laughs> it's good, it's good. A lot of similar. Whoa, great roll. Hooray. Holy craps! Three of you rolled a 20? Or, wait, Kirin doesn't get his own initiative. Where is, uh... Where are you, Pancog? You're 18. Okay. So many of you guys going fast. And let's clear your effects. Hunter's marks. Go away. Okay. Um, so we're at initiative. Let's get some, uh... Let's get some sounds here. We're gonna get a kind of a forest sound. Hmm. This mm -hmm. and battle. There you go. Let's see if these work. That's a forest skirmish. That is not music. Music. Boop. There you go. 
Let's try this. I like this sound. This song's cool. It sounds intense. All right, can you guys hear that? Yes. Cool. Yeah. It sounds familiar for some reason. I've, I've played it multiple times. But it works. Um, okay, so combat is now starting. Um, oh crap. I forgot to say, um, as you guys were making uh, your way to the forest here, uh, no one uh, realized that Zozo slipped away. Um, but, um, oh yeah, oh, we'll just leave it at that for now, but uh, didn't realize that Zozo had slipped away and Zozo is not here with the party uh, at this point in time. But, uh, Vasha, you are up, Seize. Alright, um... I'm just gonna move up. Since we're pretty far. Um... So... What is my walking speed? Uh, 30. Oh. Dang, okay. Um... Actually, yours might be 35. Yours is 35, 35, dude. <laughs> um, okay. I don't want to, like, run past everybody. Um, I will just... 20. I'll just move up with the... The others that are at the front. Oh, right. I got to approve that movement. Oop, oop, oop. Go for it. Ring that bell. I don't know which one is closest to you. Um, if you just drag it over his portrait, it'll okay, okay, okay. it'll do it for you. Perfect. Or his avatar, I guess. Icon token, one of those. You're doing your attack on him? I didn't see it. Um, so in your oops, your character sheet, uh, your actions, you're doing Toll the Dead, you said, right? It's a saving throw first, yeah. Right. Um, where, isn't that a cantrip? Yeah, yeah. Told, okay. So ex you're under your expand thing. Uh, drag the Wisdom DC onto the, the token. Um... I'm not seeing a roll. Maybe I'll just, um, zoom. Nope. <laughs> okay, let me see. Yeah, it's not working. What the heck? Are these not actually tokens? Is the question. Hold on. The, uh, Fantasy Grounds may have, might have messed up. Let me... Mm. I'm gonna drag them on myself. Delete this guy. Okay, try to drag it onto him now, because it looks like it's highlighted. Okay, all right. I got to clear out the other tokens then. Um, oop, not wrong thing. I rolled an eight. Um, he failed. So go for it. Do that damage. All right. Nice. Then I will, um, end my turn. All right. The, uh, the first uh, the gray ape uh, seeing you guys show up and being alerted uh, one, grabs one of the great swords from the ground next to him, picks it up, and uh, charges forward. How fast are they? 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And he's going to take a big swipe at you, Vasha. Um, boom. He hits. Boop. 
Oh my god, with max damage. And uh, he's got two attacks and using a swing again. And he crits. Oh, oh. Oh, this is not good. Uh, and you got an effect. Do you guys see this in chat? You lost a finger! <laughs> oh, wait, it says... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, because it's slashing weapon. Yo, this is the first time a bad crit has happened. Wait, in, di in addition to wait, standard... Oh, oh, or... An arm, a muscle punctured. A breaks a finger or has arm muscle punctured. Yeah, uh, so this weapon is, is a slashing attack, so you lose a finger. Some effect of the fingers or arm related to this type of attack. 50% chance of either main or offhand. The hand or arm will suffer a minus two penalty on all checks for four weeks. No! Yo! <laughs> or until appropriate healing spell cast upon target. If this action is not possible to the nature of the target, this is addition to standard critical. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, this ape what is came an appropriate in. Appropriate healing spell. Something that would repair my. And it almost did max damage again, dude. It rolled 12 first. Nice it, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> um, oh wait, 14. So should we... <laughs> I feel like we should like just abandon ship here and just run away. Oh my god, Vasha just went down. Oh no. Holy shit, what a nasty start. That thing just rolled its max damage essentially twice with a crit. It actually should be more because it was a crit. Do I get to pick which finger? I lost. Sure. <laughs> sure. W what finger did you lose, Vasha? Um. Holy say, crap. I lost my uh, index finger. Uh, on your main hand or your off hand? I get to choose. <laughs> well, I guess. I'm guess. I'm assuming your main hand is your weapon and your off hand is your shield, right? And I would assume your offhand is protected by the shield. So probably my main hand. Or, well, actually, you know what? I will give you the opportunity to choose. Um, we'll say that that first... <laughs> this, I'll play it out for you. You get to choose. Um, the okay, okay. the first blow, you know, he came in swinging, did max damage, and threw you off. And then the second one came in, and when he crit you, you were probably, like, staggered from the first one and just kind of tried to h hold up your shield. And unfortunately, didn't block it. So... The sword could have snuck in, somehow hit you. So you choose the the, the finger or whatever. We'll do my main hand. Pick okay. My hand. All right, we're giving you. You are now unconscious. Holy crap. Um. Okay. Learn how to be ambidextrous. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I gotta. All right. So someone please heal Vasher real quick, so I don't. We don't have to calculate the minus twos ever. <laughs> Um, okay, that ape just came in swinging. He ain't fucking around. Um, that's his turn. And um, it is Pancog's turn. Okay, um, shit. And now I gotta go heal. Um... Shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna move close to Vasha. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna cast uh, Cure Wounds at second level. Okay. How do I do that? Um, so grab, go find Cure Wounds in your actions and uh, on the, the heal. If you right click, um, it'll give it, it'll be a 2d8. And then just drag that onto Vash's face. It is not letting me do a right click. So, uh, left click, hold the d8 plus one. And then oh, while you're no, holding I it, right click. It there you go. You healed her for 10. So she is no longer unconscious. Uh, she's stable, which is good. Uh, I'm going to say that um, we're gonna 
Uh, that doesn't grow back a finger. Doesn't make sense. Uh, but we're going to say that it healed you enough. That, Nobody closed the wound? That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say it, it closed the wound enough so it's not painful or anything. And so I'm not like bleeding out. Yeah, and you're not getting... <laughs> you, you don't get the minus two anymore. Um, but you're still missing a finger. <laughs> cool. Um, um, but, does it take an extra move for carrying a pop into like full panther form? No, it's, it's a bonus or... action. So, okay. uh... Um... Oh, this is gonna be hard. Um, I'm gonna have Kyrian move over uh, beside me. Or okay. beside Basha. No, beside me. Um, and we're gonna try to claw at. Uh, he's not near an enemy. So then he's beside Basha. Yes. He, he's gonna attempt to, um... To hit? And he misses. Oh, God. The, the ape just kind of dodges around. God fucking damn it, Kyrian. <laughs> I can die with these types of rolls. And with that, that's my turn. Uh, Echo, you're upsies. Okay, um, I think I'm going to cast Scorching Ray. Uh, and on. So actually, let me move forward a bit. Where am I? Here I am. I'm gonna move to shoot. Um, how far can I go? Let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. How far is it? Is it? 20 you can move thirty. 30? Yeah, you can move thirty. Twenty. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna move to there. Gonna, all right, and then I'm going to cast Scorching Ray. Pardon you, Odin. There we go. Where are you? Uh, remember, you will. This will use another spell slot, which means you will have only two spell slots left after this. Okay. Just a heads up. Oh, someone's upset. There we go. Mm uh -huh. right. Here we go. And you get, it's got a big old, it's got a big old range, right? Yeah. I mean, 120 feet? Jeez. I don't know where to drop. <gasps> oh, yo. You, you could, oh. I don't know how that happened. That's amazing. What is that? Well, there's a marker there now. So you can hit, you can hit all three of those, those apes without nice. um, hurting a friend. What is the save? Oh, their attacks. That's interesting. Um, so that's on the gray one. Uh, that one, I believe, misses. Is that right? Oh, yeah, you rolled a two. So let me see. You make a ranged spell attack for each ray on the hit. Okay, so that one missed the gray one. Remember to drag it onto their uh, their tokens, and it'll just calculate it. Um, but go ahead and drag it onto the, the black one. Um, that one hit. So now you can nice. now you can drag the demagi onto him. Where'd it go? Come on. There we go. Nice. Damage done. Nice, nice. And then it's the brown one next, isn't it? Yep. 
See if it hits him. Oh. Missed. Ow. So you unleash three giant fire flame walls and uh, the other two apes dodge around. Uh, but that the, the black one just took it right in the face. <laughs> Sears his face a little bit. Nice. Okay, yeah, I guess that'll be end of turn. Cool. Um, oh, so go ahead and uh, push the end of turn button. Of course. Sound pad. I had a sound pad for this and I just forgot to have it open. Oh well. Where's my end turn button going? Uh, it's at the bottom of the combat tracker. Uh, it's the little down arrow. Aha. Okay. There you go. Um, after all the commotion that has happened, the you hear a. <gasps> A roar coming out here. Oh no. We need a sound. We need a sound. I got one. Hold on. You hear it? Coming out from the outhouse. And a, a big old bear comes busting through. Bear in the outhouse. Yep, bear in the outhouse. Alright, I can't <laughs> grab him for some reason. So we'll just do this. He comes busting out. <laughs> he angry. And uh he comes right up here. And uh he sees Echo standing there, and uh, he takes a chomp. Okay, so he gets, he gets a bite and a chomp. He takes a bite, chomp! And he hits. For some damage. Oh, right, you you had the fear thing on you. It's fine. <laughs> and then he, he takes a swipe at you. And he, whoa, fantasy grounds. Don't walk up. Don't walk up on us. There you go. And the next one, you dodge out of his giant bear claw attack. But you did uh, get a surprise chomp. Uh, the ape that is hurted is going to rush up. Vasha, I'm so sorry, dude. Uh, they are intelligent, so they're going to do what they can to win. It's going to take a slash at you. And hits. You're down again. Oh, no. Um, unconscious. It's got another attack. Oh, man. I hate this. I hate this feeling as a DM. I don't want to kill my players, but they're going to fight intelligently. And, uh, Actually, he didn't use his full move. Actually, you know what he would do? Let's think about this. Yep, he would he would attack you. Ouch, he hits. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Pasha. Oh no. Uh oh. Vash is dead. I'm so sorry, my friend. I hate that. Oh no! Uh, this is the first time when my players have ever died. I hate this feeling. I'm so sorry, dude. You're you're you are still you're still a player. <laughs> you are still in this campaign. You can make another character. Remember that. So it's if you okay. if you still want to play. <laughs> He's like, I can't, li I can't live this way. I have to be one with my appendages. No. Wow. Okay. I don't think we can find your finger. Oh, please, don't let this be a death spiral. That would just fucking suck. Um. Oh God. Um. So you guys see Vasha go down again, and uh, you you see uh her, like just life leave her eyes. Um, and she just lays down into the the ground there. Um, Vasha, if you do want to make another character now on DD Beyond, you're welcome to. And uh, we'll figure out how to get you as a player back in. But I'm so sorry you've lost your character. It's all good. See, it this happens. is. I love you as a player for that, by the way. I know, like. <laughs> You can get attached to your player, and I've never had this. is My first time as a DM experiencing actual player death, and it's ripping me apart. I fucking hate it. 
Um, but thank you so much for being awesome and uh, understanding that this game is... The enemies want to win, right? They're, they're going to do what they can. Um, but so that's the A point. Lushu, you're up. You just saw Vasha just fall down in front of you. You're muted, by the way. I was saying how much of a tragedy it was. Ugh. Yeah. Awful. I hate it. Moving on. So, mm. uh... <laughs> you're you're looking the other way. Look, you you hightailing it. <laughs> Your character was looking the other way. <laughs> Actually, Pancog is too. Everyone's looking backwards. Can I move here? Um. Okay. Yeah, you you can move there because it's gonna it'll take a little more uh, movement to get through Eva, That'd but you can make there. Movement. So that's yep. thirty right there, right? Yep. Perfect. So I still get sneak attack as well because of the five feet yep um let me move my things out of the way okay um actions right then so how do i activate sneak attack again i don't think i've ever been able to do it i think you have to do it um you can so go you go to your actions um under yep. sneak attack you click the little okay, okay. magnifying glass just uh drag that onto yourself i believe the effect Actually, no, it says sneak attack on turn. I don't see that anywhere. In on the, in the combat tracker, under your effects. Um, I think it's already going to apply it. Combat tracker. I, I haven't got access to my effects. Um, click on the winged boots. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I mean... You can't I see can't that? turn them on or off. Correct. Oh, um, but if it says sneak attack on turn, that means it's applied. It sneak attack on turn. Perfect. Yes. Awesome. I, it right, should cool. work. We'll see. Right, also, I need so... to change the music because stuff happened. Sad music, sad music. Yeah, sad music. Mm -hmm. Hey, little man. Okay, we ready. Right, main hand first. Onto brown bear. Oh! You hit. No way! Yeah, you oh, did. Dude. Holy crap. Jesus Christ. All right, then. So, damage. This oh, because you're flanking. Attack. You got a plus two. You obvi Yeah, you definitely would have missed. The sneak attack didn't... Um, okay, so yeah, just add the three. That's weird. Why didn't it... Add three... What was it? 3D what? I think it's 3D6. Hold on. I think it's... Sneak. Yeah, 3D6. All right, times three with a D6 and roll them. Holy shit! Almost max damage. Dude, what are the rolls this game? I've, I've, I've still got one more attack left. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, with the offhand? Get him. Alright then, and. About, ready, 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 ready? Here we go. <gasps> oh! Oh! Yeah! Dude! Oh my god! What are the rolls this game? And you get an effect opportunity. In addition to standard critical hit damage to your target, you may take an extra standard. Yo! Okay, you, so right, you get, right, do your this. damage. You're just gonna murder this bear. Um, okay, you get another standard action, so you can do a full-on attack again. I will attack, main hand! <laughs> um, yo, dude, th this was an uh, opportunity attack. Go ahead and uh, explain it if you want, of why you get this extra, like, super move. Okay then, okay then, so. Yeah. Hmm, let me think about this. So, with the years of acrobatic training that Lushu has had, um, when he's turned to slice the bear for an attack, he's used the momentum of that swing to turn around and go for a stab. So, it's for a full, like, swing 360, bring it round and stab. Nice. That's what I'm gonna try. Okay, then here we go. Uh, roll the hit, and... No! Oh, you hit! Oh my god! <laughs> How is that hitting? That's an 11. Sorry, I don't get that's, it. That, that's my bad. I've got one dice. One dice. Sorry. Okay. Four, four piercing. There's a damage. More How damage. Is... There it is. Let's go. That's so weird. That was... It's hitting, but it's fine. Oh, that's initiative. That's right. 20, 26 damage altogether. Jeez, dude. All right. Is that your turn? Oh, oh yep. Come back and end turn. Yo, sheep turn. Let's go. Uh, sheep turn is he's flailing in uh in uh Eva's mouth. He wants to get loose. 
Um, so he's gonna... <laughs> That's funny, the effect of grapple is still on him. That's great. <laughs> um, he's gonna actually attempt to break grapple. He does not want to be here, and uh, he fails. Why is he rolling again? <laughs> oh, because he's grappled by someone else. Whatever, it's fine. Um, he does not break grapple. Uh, Eva, it's yeah, your turn. I'm not even holding him that hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, is it an entire action to drop the sheep? No. It just, <laughs> okay. It's a bonus action. What's with this music? This is not... I'm... There you go. I'm gonna drop the sheep. It's First okay. off. It's like, stop, fucking sheep. I'm dropping the sheep. Hmm. I'm going um, X Games mode as bear, because I'm angry. One of these little poopies killed Basha, and now I'm gonna get my revenge. Oh, uh... You know what? He seems to be doing a pretty good job on that bear here, so... Uh, and, you will... Uh, you'll get an attack of opportunity because you left the bear's threat range. Oh, oh, okay. Shit. Actually, wait, um, are you still in it? Well, say you're still in it because, uh, since he's a large bear, he covers actually half of that other square. So you're still in it. You're fine. Okay, alright. Um, I'm going he's to a big old attack bear. this ape. Because I'm... Anky. Yeah, that ape is... Leader it's ape. Anky. Yeah, you hit. Ooh. Hell yeah. All right, sir. Prepare to have a bad day. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, y'all getting all the good. The instant the karma. Uh, that one hits. Okay, cool. Uh, now maybe. There you go. Yeah. Much better. There you go. Um, you. Aha! That one goes down. He is. Oh, that one is trophy. unconscious. Good. All right. I think that is all I can do, question mark. All right, that's your bear. All right, the other ape is going yeah, to... Me, bro. One, two, three, four, five, six. How fast are they? How fast are you? 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40. 45. 50, 55, 60. He is running. Uh, he, he seems to be uh, running away from the combat to go into one of these little outcrops. And he's going to run up. Actually, he could have climbed this. Hold on a minute. He's he was here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And he's gonna open this. 55, 60. He climb. He just climbs over the outhouse, you know, monkey, and uh, runs into th that near room. Uh, Vasha. Oh, it says you're unconscious. No. How does death work? It's if you're unconscious, you take damage. You automatically f fail two saves and you would have just failed that one I say, don't we have three saves you do but whenever you take damage yeah she has three death sale but if you get minus 10 above your if you get to minus 10 life you automatically just die um but that would have been the third Did death save anyway minus 10 life? yeah it exceeded her damage by 19 um absolutely obliterated. Yeah, that monkey didn't <laughs> you, no holds barred. Um why is people disappeared? Are you guys seeing this? Like my map just went gray. There it goes. That, I don't, that was weird. Um the gray ape um I guess is going to attack Kyrian. No. Actually no, he's a what he? They're they're intelligent. Would they know that Kyrian is just a pet? Yeah, he was. He would attack. He's got a sword. He's definitely gonna attack Kyrian. No. Uh, hits. God no. Heavy damage to Kyrian. Oh my god. He's gonna do it again. Oh, oh no. Oh, it was a two and it switched to an eighteen. Oh no. 
Oh no. Kirin is not dead, but he is dying. Uh, Kirin is now unconscious. Um, whoop, he's not going to revert to kitten form. Um, Pancog, you just saw your panther kitty just fall before you. to try to grab Carrie and just run back behind us to see if I can't shove a potion in his mouth. Um Well, you would you would essentially have to leave the threat range of two of the apes. Oh, uh, that one ape is down. Uh, he should be there. You would essentially cuz you'd have to walk onto Kyrian's space. And if you walked away with him, uh the the gray ape would get an attack on you. Also, you can heal him like normal, like with a spell, but I don't know how many more spell slots you have. <clears throat> you marked off your... Yeah, okay. You marked off your second level spell, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, Why would you do this to me? Ah... Uh... Cause even because uh, I healed Fashion too, but that stupid eight hit her too for a lot of damage. Yeah, dude, coming in swing massive damage. Um, but I'd also get disadvantage because he's too close to me with my short bow. Um, that would no no, like where you're at right now, you're safe. Uh, to be able to shoot, uh, it's if you're within or five feet of them that you would get disadvantage. Unless you're moving on top so, of Kyrian, are you moving on to his space? No, I'm not moving on top of Kyrian. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to hit the stupid ape as retribution for my child. Go for it. Shoot him. Shoot him dead. You hit. You do damage. He's still standing. Although it did good damage to him. <laughs> is that your turn? Yes, that, that, that ends my turn. Echo, your turn. Here we go. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am going to... Hmm. Which bears are uh, down? Uh, the, the big one right next to you is the enemy bear. The other one is uh, an Eva, and you probably don't want to attack them. Okay, so the one next to me is still very much alive. Um, is he alive? He's, yes, he, he's still alive. He took some damage. He probably would have been dead if Lucio got his sweet atta opportunity attack in. In which case, I shall do 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 attack with my ba, 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 vampiric touch. That's a spell. I tell you what, I'm just gonna go for crossbow because he's right next to me. Um. You'll get disadvantage because if you're shooting a ranged attack at right next to you, oh, yeah. you get disadvantage. What about? Ooh, I have a mace. Um, if you're gonna attack him, use um. I'm not. Don't want to tell you what to do, but uh, your eldritch blast is the way to go. It's probably your most damaging ability that doesn't come with a spell cost, and will do more damage than your mace. About that. I forgot about eldritch blast. Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's go. Um. Oh my god, that's right. It went up in level. Oh, that's so much damage. Why did it roll two? I do not know. So um, 
Did you drag the ranged onto his head? Uh, yeah, it's attack, isn't it? Uh, the ranged plus five? Yeah, drag that onto his head. I don't know why I rolled two d20s. It's doing it again. That's weird. And it, huh. it dodged still. Oh, because you're doing a spell cast in melee ranged. That's why. It was a, oh, it, so it's at disadvantage. Um. So, uh, since I forgot oh, about I, that, I use, I use scorching ray instead of freaking eldritch blast. That's what happened. Well, last time too, because they were far enough away, you didn't get disadvantage. But I forgot that um, using spells at melee range causes disadvantage. So if you want, I'll let you do the mace. That won't be a disadvantage. Um, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll play it like you would have made the decision of either go at disadvantage with Eldritch Blast or not disadvantage with a mace, which would be less. So, if you want to do the mace, go for it. I'll go for the mace. Because uh, so that was my bad. I forgot about that rule. Skills, abilities. Where is the mace? Uh, it's still in your actions. It's just at the top under weapons. <laughs> mm. Oh, got it. Uh. <clears throat> Oh, you're being unhelpful. <laughs> Kitty? He just wants to help. <laughs> I'm helping. Right, okay. <laughs> he senses a fellow cat is in danger. You hit him. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Okay. Um, where is the damage? Uh, it's right next to it. Uh, it's just drag the D6 bludgeoning onto it. Do -do -do. Ooh. Wow, Ooh great roll for it. <laughs> bonk nice. right into the bear face. Nice. You bonk him. You bonk him good. Uppercut to the face. There you go. Boom. <laughs> Is that your turn? Yep. Oh. All right. Um, oh, so, shit. Uh, the bear being bonked right into the face angrily attacks you back. Didn't think about that. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's not happy. That hits. He he chomps back at you. Does very little damage, but also with someone with low life, that's significant. And now he swipes at you. Almost rolled a one. He still hits. And does a lot of damage. You are. Oh. Okay. Uh, Echo just took. Um, some nasty damage. Um, you can see that uh, you just took a smack to the face and there's some blood running down your eyes. Um, but uh, you kind of staggered from that last hit a little bit, but you're still standing. My God. This fight is this fight is just swinging, dude. Uh, Lucio's up. It's okay. I, I, I have an ace in my hole. I hope so. <laughs> Uh, so my sneak attack is on, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Alright then, so first attack, brown bear. That's a hit. Uh, yes sir. All, all I know is if I roll a one, no. Yeah. <laughs> Anything above a two, yes. Yeah. Dude, his, right, their armor is trash. Oh, actually applied this time. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I drag, so, so what you do, Lushu, is, um, when you get a sneak attack, if you go to the, the sneak attack under the effects, yeah, just know. drag it onto yourself, yeah. Yeah. and it'll work. Okay, well, um, right, then. Then he is a dead bear. Like, he's not unconscious, oh. he's dead. Oh, um, you exceeded his damage by 11 points, so... <laughs> that bear is now... <laughs> that bear is now a coat. Is now a dead man. Um, and, um, to be fair, actually, now I can move, right? Uh, I can move 30 still. Yes. But I won't get to use my offhand attack. Ooh. Yeah, you can still use it. Oh, I can. Oh. As long as you don't use Does your full count? movement. 10. I'll move there. Haha. <laughs> sure. Two bits. And then uh, this ape. We haven't been getting on recently, so I'm uh. <laughs> Lucy's just going on like a fence. Is that a hit? <laughs> no, you missed. Ah, oh, damn it. I tried. All right, that'll be my turn. <laughs> Um, Shine Bright, now being free of Eva's jaws, just fucking runs. You know, he's, he's just gonna go. 
He, he he runs as fast as he can. His little sheep legs can carry him. And whatever his stupid speed is, for, he runs 80 feet away. Just, just, you know, sheep gallops. He picked it. Uh, Eva's turn. All right. Uh, it is time for this other ape to go bye-bye. If I can manage that, that's the real question here. Uh, <laughs> all right. On a I believe in you. Humph. Oh, that's okay. you hit. You hit. Come here, buddy boy. Oh, dude. One. Two ones in a row. Listen, the claws first are hit. that. We'll try that. We'll, yeah. we'll... Oh, no. The critical one. Okay, so it's just a normal rip. miss. Okay, rip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for me, boys. <laughs> That's it. The, the two times you're like, all right, this this thing's going down. The dice betray you. Okay, so that ape that was running is still running. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that guy. Oh. Oh. All right, he's got to open that. And uh, he is out of sight. For you guys. Okay. Fascia, rip. Um, that ape is still alive. Wait, is it? It's still alive. Okay, he's going to attack. Well, bear just missed, so he's going to attack Lushu. Mm. <laughs> what did I do? And he misses. Attack Lushu again. Miss. Misses. Beautiful. <laughs> Two giant swords. Back, <laughs> yeah, right? Just kind of disappear. Uh, Kyrian is unconscious, right? Yes. Uh, Pancog, your turn. <clears throat> um, since the stupid thing is still alive, and even if I heal, heal Kyrian at those moments, he'll just become a target. Um... I'm gonna shoot the fucking ape again. Uh. God damn it. He dodges an arrow. I miss. Okay, so we had powerhouse ape murder late people, and now we got dodge, dodgy McDodgy ape. <laughs> Is that well, your turn? I can't do anything else. <laughs> um, well, I can't. I don't have any bonus actions. Well, you can you can still move, move and all if that I don't stuff. Move, well, if I don't, even if I move, can I stand on top of Kyrian and like protect him if he gets hit again? Um, I, I suppose I think you there's a protect or a defend action. Hold on, uh, but I think that that costs your action. Um, let's see, actions. Search, use, hide, dodge, shove. Um, you wouldn't be able to protect him now because you used your your action. But um, I think there's a defend action, D and D. Actions in combat. Help hide, ready. Maybe not. Oh, that's a feat. Oh, okay. Um, well, then I'll just end my turn. Okay. Um, who... Oh, someone can kill this stupid thing. Right. Uh, Echo, you're up. I'm gonna give myself a potion of healing to get myself back up some. Okay. Okay, so I just plop that on myself. Do, 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 do. And uh, go ahead and... Uh... Reduce the number of potions of healing or health potions that you have in your inventory. You should have one left yep. now. Yep. Let's see. Potion of healing. Yeah. Um, and then we've, I'm going to start heading towards this way. So go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, which will land me there. Boom. Cool. That's your turn. Yep. Oh god, I keep forgetting to bloody end my turn. Oh, you're good. No. Um, no, Lushu, no. your turn. Alright then. Right. So, once again, I should have my thingy. 
Oh, that was almost a one. Does that hit? Yes. Perfect. All right, and then the damage. Uh, drag your sneak attack on you. Remember, it, it gets removed every time you use it, unfortunately. God damn, rogue sneak attack is nasty in this edition. Yep, it, it didn't add for some reason, so I'm just gonna do. It's fine. Uh, oh, like you took him out. Damage. Oh, all right. Yeah, he, he's uh, yeah, he's, he's dead. He's dead. Dead. <laughs> Easy. Uh, so two of them are officially super dead. Um, the other one is just unconscious. Uh, you still have a move if you um, wish to use it. Yeah, I'm gonna go to here oh, just oh no eh, the 30 what was it there you go <laughs> go ahead and you. redo it <laughs> oh no i'm moving the wrong character where's oh lord this is not going well you're making it bad you're good you did it uh, intern. there we go i did it eva <laughs> you're up it. i did it uh okay so if my map would allow me to zoom out correctly that would be Wonderful. Uh, so the the other apes in like the circle to the the right side, right? No, uh, he ran to the middle oh, no. one. Oh, he ran. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, well, you have to go through the right side to get to the middle, right? Or um, that's the easiest way. Um, but bears have a climb speed, so. I was gonna say, what's the hard way? <laughs> yeah. you, you, I don't know. You'd have to run it but uh your climb speed is 30 your run speed is 40. so you okay. actually it might be faster for actually to just book it 80. you could move 80 feet okay like as a as a like run and then climb or just running like back through the right side um if you just run through the back side where like where echo's at you can move 80 feet um okay. so i think i will do that let me just zoom out a little bit more on the map. It's kind of clunky the way it zooms out for me yep. here. Um, okay, so guess that would be 15, 20. Then I would take some sort of, so after I go through Echo, then it would take like some sort of. Yeah, it just takes 10 um, feet. Okay, so every movement. I'm gonna go there. So I'll that's run my little bear buns in there. So that was 70 feet of your movement. Yeah. So then I took the 10 for having to go through echo. Right. Um, no, that that's including going through echo. So you have 10 feet oh, left. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So then I can just go another 10. We'll yep. just go right there. Cool. I'm chasing this man down. Like my life depends on <laughs> it. <laughs> um, oh, right. He's, uh, He's still conscious. Enough for long, buddy. And boy. Uh, he is going to continue. I don't know if you guys can actually. You can. Technically, not supposed to be able to see in there, but it's fine, I guess. Um, he, uh, you, you kind of hear muffled <laughs> coming from uh, the center platform, and. That is when he kind of shifts. Oop. And it's Pancog's turn. Well, I am going to cast healing uh, on Kyrian now. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a second. It's being funky on me. Spells. Give me my spells! <clears throat> I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds at second level on Kyrian. Uh, heal's done. Oh, come on. Um... And just for extra measure, I'm going to go ahead and use my potion. Uh, as well. uh, you can't because you already used your heal. Uh, oh. using a potion is an action. Okay. Um, then we're, we're just gonna chill out here since he's still recovering. Yeah, he's he's at least conscious now. Yeah, 
Yeah. I, I'm cuddling my poor child. <laughs> uh, is that your turn? Yes, that is that is my turn. I, I'm just cuddling my poor <laughs> wounded child. You're up, Echo. Okay, uh, let's go. Okay, how far can I go without taking an action? Oh, uh, without taking an action? Um, you can move yeah. uh, double your speed. Um, or, sorry, you can move 30 feet, but if you don't use an action, you can move 60. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Uh, I'm gonna come chill there. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, yeah, and then I'm gonna end my turn. Uh, but. Oh, you could have moved thirty or thirty more if you wanted. I thought uh, I was gonna chill next. I was, to I was like, he's probably smart not to run headlong as a, a squishy caster. Uh, Lushu, yeah. you're up. I'm good. <laughs> that's uh, remember, you're gonna have to try to climb the wall because that's like twenty or thirty feet up. Oh wait, how? Hang on. What's this little bit right here? Don't move me. What's that? Is that like a door entrance or is it? A that's a door entrance, but it's thirty feet in the air. Okay, so well, to be fair, are. what I can do is um, because I have an item. I was gonna say you have a jump ring, right? Yes, which mm -hmm. allows me to climb without it costing anything extra. So from here, can I climb up to the very top? Without um, action? let's see. It's ring of jumping. You ju you triple your jump distance. Um, so. Your jump distance is 30, so I could say you, you could jump up to that I platform. Jump, I jump it. I okay. jump it. I Boom. make it look fucking amazing. I make it look incredible. Platform, and jump. I just jump it. And as I do so, I land and I turn around to the party and just let off a little wink. Uh. No. All right. <laughs> because of how, how awesome that just was. <laughs> because that was that was your movement. Yep, that's, I can't do anything else. I moved 60 in time. Um, so, yeah. you, you, you still had an action, right? Because that wasn't your full... That was my fault, yeah. Oh, that was 60 feet? Yeah, because I moved 30 to get there in the first place, then jumped 30 to get up, so that's my full thing, yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Okay, Eva's turn. Okie dokie. I'm still chasing this man like my life depends on it. Uh, we'll start there, because I, the map is very... I don't know if it's just... I, I need you to put a smackdown on the man. I'm, t I'm doing my best. Oh, cool! Oh, hello, sir! <laughs> You're about to get owned. <laughs> oh, we're going. Please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, before you roll, um, oh. you do burst down into that image, and uh, you see, uh, as you bust through the door, you do see a wizard in the corner there staring you down, and he already, and, oh, oops, I forgot. This monkey is... Oh my! Is large. Oh, he fat. He he took some. Mm. <laughs> he became he became a chonk. Oh, how does this stupid thing work? Oh, where's that stinking spells list? It didn't work <laughs> for some reason. Character spells. I can type. It's fine. Oh, why can't I just make this large? Okay. Um, so, yeah, you, you run in. You see uh, this gorilla has, uh, or this ape has gotten, uh, has doubled in size. And uh, is a little more uh, imposing, but uh, you you are there, so go ahead. Okay. Um. Should I roll again or? Oh, sorry. You uh, you hit. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm gonna give him a chomperoonie. Did some damage. And then I'm gonna swipe at him. Use them claws. Ooh, that's you hit a him. One. Delicious. Oh my god. Ooh. There's some. Oh, yes. dude, Ooh. really? You took him down? <laughs> the bear. <laughs> Damn. Hell yeah. That bear, or that ape didn't even get to do shit. No. He's not allowed. He's all huge and just bop, gets bopped. <laughs> and, uh, what he, can I say? I'm anky. It's okay. He, he is unconscious. 
Um, nice. Get um, hecked. <laughs> and uh, so at the end of that round, um, we're going to turn down the, the tunes because things are now happening. Uh, you walk in. Uh, from what you can probably tell, that's probably Nuke, uh, or the wizard man. And uh, he sees you come in. And uh, he, he seems a, a little more at ease, even though he just saw you just take down his giant monkey. Um, he, he And he turns and looks at you and says, uh, what would he say? Um, he notices that... <laughs> or he, he kind of heard that some co commotion was happening and was observing out through the window uh, when when the first, you know, monkey beat sounds happen. And uh, he, uh, Shine Bright has, you know, once the dust is cleared, his he starts to come up to you guys again. Or he, he will say he's at the first platform uh, because, you know, everyone's kind of been knocked out or whatever, or somewhat dealt with. But uh, Noak turns to you, Eva, and says, uh, like, oh, are you here to return the sheep that you stole? Stole? Oh yeah, you're in bear yeah. form. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, so okay, like, so maybe maybe he won't. I'm just gonna straight up growl at him. Actually, bro. yeah, maybe he doesn't say that because obviously he doesn't know that you stole yep. the sheep yet. Uh, yep. Uh, but he'll say he's like, mm, <laughs> "You're not one of my guards," and uh, he he has the staff on the ready. Uh, he could probably see Lucius like right at the door, He's peeking in. He's like, and he'll say that to Lucio then. It's like, I'm assuming you're here to return the sheep that you stole. Um, where's the sheep right now? He. I'll I'll drag him back on. Yeah, is he still in the mouth of the bear or? No, no um, I dropped him. All right, cool. Yeah, cool, cool. Well, he 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 booked it, but we'll say uh. Oh, he after, booked it. Oh, okay. After the the stuff cleared, he he is now, you know, out here. Trying I to. I can't see him on my map. Uh, he's at the bottom entrance. pillar, the first entrance. Oh, I see him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's down by there. Dummy. There we go. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, well, first, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him that we we did no such thing. We didn't steal the sheep. Um, the the sheep uh, had decided to run away of its own accord. We are bringing it back in the hope of a reward. You're you're bringing the sheep back to Noke? You're, you're trying to... Are you actually being serious? Or are you actually de <laughs> deceiving? No, I'm memeing. doing the thing again. <laughs> oh, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm deceiving. I'm okay, deceiving. Uh, roll no, a deception. At this point, the sheep would appear and we are not giving the sheep back. Died. No, so roll... The sheep can deception. Pop off. Where are you? Deception. There you are. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is Vantage still. No! He that's still rolled bad. well. Bad. Holy crap. Still not bad. Um, still not terrible. Uh, I'm still crying God damn it. The inside, but... <laughs> Why don't they have... What's insight? Isn't that wisdom? I think so. All right, abilities. Um, insight, yeah, wisdom. Okay, so he's going to roll... <laughs> wisdom. Yeah, he rolled a natural 20. Uh... <laughs> So he rolled a natural 20 with a plus one to his right, wisdom. So <laughs> Lucio just commits seppuku. Um, well, to be fair, you did a really good, like your roll was well done, but he just, he doesn't, he, he doesn't believe you. Like he's suspicious already. He doesn't know who you are. Weird people showed up, just murdered his guards. And I may be chatting a lot of bullshit, but he's Yeah, and he's like, like yeah. and he goes, uh, for some reason, uh, I don't believe you being truthful. If you return the sheep now, I will not destroy you here. I kind of look over towards the bear and kind of... <laughs> to try and make him think that I'm communicating with the bear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no. Roll a deception. <laughs> what do you mean? All right, fine. Uh, you're trying to convince him that you're talking to a bear. Oh, dude. Do I even want to roll? Yeah, please. Oh, oh, gosh. Calm. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, oh, no. he uh, he just kind of looks at you strangely. He's like, "You have something hot in your throat." 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Oh my god. Um, I, 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 do, I do apologize. Um, well, we, we, we do... <laughs> shut up, stop laughing. We do, we do have your... Shut up. We do have your sheep. Um, he's just outside. And I kind of, like, um, kind of, like, gesture over to him to come and have a look and sort of so I can direct him towards the sheep to see them. Because the <laughs> right, then I'll be behind him and I'll do a Dark Souls and backstab. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, yeah, he he doesn't trust you, so he's not gonna walk anywhere near you guys. And uh, he slowly starts climbing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, aye, aye, aye. So he's like, "How convenient for you! If the sheep was, if you were here to return the sheep as honestly as you proclaim, wouldn't the sheep be with you?" Ah, uh, from the corner, because he can't see me. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, yes. I don't. I don't know if you can. Yes. Yes. <laughs> with advantage. Does okay. With advantage because he can't see her. Well, yeah, he can't see her, but look how far away he is. That would have to be the loudest. Yeah. That would be, that'd be the loudest sheep noise. Hang on, hang on. That is. Let's have a look. If I actually drag that over, so I'm forty feet away. So Echo's only about sixty feet away. You yes, but also through walls. But, but through through two walls. Yeah, but if I'm climbing up, it was obviously it was open. So there's an open bit. Yeah, but it's like going through a wall with a doorway okay, about, through another about, twenty feet through a doorway. How about we have how about we have Echo roll a performance check to see if she can shout that loud? I'm she I'm sure she can shout that loud, but I'm wondering if it would be convenient. Oh, Alright. Go ahead and do a performance at disadvantage, because oh, just the just be enough. if yeah. you, if you want to obviously. But the okay. reason why it's a disadvantage is because you're sixty feet away and you're gonna have to scream it. Yeah, roll again. Yep. yep that was a great roll. Uh, One more roll. And... Yeah. Oh. Um. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with. I so can't. you uh, actually, you know, I don't play this out. This is your character. You. <laughs> Get to play out your loud sheep noise, and now you get to join the party of being embarrassed, making sheep noises. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> um, okay. Upstairs, neighbors just bang down in a minute. So, um, well, now Noke is now very much aware that there's more of you uh, in this area, and is now on guard. And uh, you see him trace some sing uh, symbols in the, the air and some magic kind of, kind of spins around him. And uh, he, oh, I hate how spells work in Fantasy Grounds for NPCs. It's actually the worst. Oh, oh. oh little man. Will this work? Um... And he moves and just hightails it at ridiculous speed. At, you see under his feet, like, little uh, blue sparkles and stuff shooting out. He's moving at a, a very intense speed and uh, manages to avoid Eva's threat range. Shame. Oop. I would have loved to try to beat him up. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. It really is. And, uh, Come back here. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Nowhere. Get your ass back. Okay, and, uh, he... <laughs> boom, boom! You, you hear a couple doors slam open, and, uh, he is... He is gone from sight. And, uh... Do we want, do we want to say initiative or re-roll? <laughs> That's the question. Oh, God. Um, I mean, me personally, <laughs> as dead last, I'd love to reroll, but that's up to DM's discretion. <laughs> I'm not even in inside the building. I'm still. Yeah, you're still down there with your cat. Um, okay, so we're go ahead and reroll or make a an roll initiative, I guess. All of us. Yeah. Let's try this again. It's gonna be low again because that's what it always is. Yep. 
Yeah, Solid. dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's awful. I, my initiative is just bad. It's just bad. Oh every god, time. no! I'm worse. I got a nat one. Nat one. Listen, you're outside. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're in allowed. distress. <laughs> Look, I'm probably not even gonna even go in there because my cat is still nearly dead. You're you're holding the perimeter. It's okay. There you go. Th that's what we'll say. Um, okay, so uh, everyone rolled their initiative. Um, you guys don't see anything obviously happening in the the distance, but uh, oh, will this work now? Oh, it does work now. I love this. Okay, and uh, ooh, is this how how is this gonna work? Okay. <clears throat> do, 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 do. You guys hear a loud explosion of wood and crashing. Okay, now we need now we need another fight music. Uh. Kind of like when the cats jump on shit at night. Yes. Except <laughs> to like an yes. epic degree of precisely. <laughs> we ordered Domino's last night and the cats just destroyed it at three AM. Oh no. oh no! Yeah. We, 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 the were one hoping, time. we were hoping for leftover pizza in the morning. Nope. No. <laughs> Cats. <laughs> that doesn't sound like battle music. You lie to me. You Here you go. Lying? There you go. I like this. Okay. Um, and you hear an explosion of a uh, shrapnel and stuff next to you. Um, those of you. Uh, so Eva doesn't know, Echo doesn't know, Lucio will see, and so will Pancog. But you see erupting from the uh, the, the smaller enclosure a very large uh, dragon-like thing being ri written by the wizard come fly out. And, uh, oh snap, uh, they, they all get to go first. Um, and, uh, the dragon coming up. <laughs> that was a horrible dragon noise. <laughs> um, but, okay. um, I'll, I'll explain it to you guys. Uh, the, it's not a standard dragon, obviously. Um, it's, a. Uh, it looks like a dragon that's been carved, uh, from wood. Um, but it's like wings and stuff are made out of like bed sheets and its tail ends in a, in, in a pillow. Um. <laughs> It looks like uh, he just fashioned a dragon out of his bed, and it came. No, under any other circumstance, that would be weird golem. Be cute. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's like uh, a weird golem thing. Kind of. It's it's just a, a it, you know, you see it for two seconds. Or what the hell is that? And it comes bursting out. And uh, uh, Pancog, unfortunately, you were the first thing it sees. Oh God, no. And uh, it is going to. Does it have enough room? I think it has enough. It is going to fly towards you. And so Noke is riding him. And is going to splinter breath you. Um, make a dexterity save. Your dex is high, so should make it. I know that. Should be in the. And you roll a two. No, I fucked up. Yeah, that didn't work. Um. Oh, this is gross. And I'm gonna assume Kyrian has to make the same. Oh, yeah, because it's in a cone. Yeah. Kyrian has to uh, make one as well. Oops. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, Oh what? my god. That's not right. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna die. Yeah, you're not in a, in a good spot here. That was... At this point, you're just trying to murk us all. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. This was obviously a difficult fight and uh, <laughs> the rolls went the awful. Uh, it is the sheep's fault. Blame the sheep. The sheep is no longer in my uh, Kyrian, Kyrian makes it. Karen does not, um... But he's only, like, at four health. So, that was... Thirteen. Where is my thing? 
Where's Kyrian? Why isn't Kyrian on the thing? Oh, because he's... He is. He's yeah, still he, on my other right, one. Right, right. He needs to be at three. There you go. Now he's with you. Um, yeah, Kyrian is also down. And... Oops. That's the wrong button. Uh, Kyrian is unconscious. No. Type the number. No, not three times. There it goes. Kyrian's down, and... You just took a shrapnel spread right to the face, Pancog. And just took 27 damage. Wait, I thought he was like Kyrian fade. He does, but they take half. Oh. And now it is... Shine bright. He sees that thing bust out and says, Fuck it, I'm out again. Just runs. Coward. Uh, he's a sheep. Eva, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, Actually, you know what? The sheep is gonna. Actually, gonna say, oh no, he has to I run. A five, didn't I? Uh, you did, but it was five plus something. Where is your? You rolled a five. Wait. Yeah, it didn't calculate yeah. your initiative, right? Is oh, everyone's yeah, initiative it did. wrong? I'm just further down. Because the brown bear and technically the other one are like oh, right. separate. Oh, right. Here. Of the weird there you go. Bear. Sorry. Okay, um, so that it means exactly it's Lushu's turn. Lushu's turn. <laughs> Can we make it my turn? It is. It is your turn, yeah. Oh, it, oh sweet. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Um, right, so just a quick question. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I want to double check with you, with uh, DM. Mm -hmm. Misty Step doesn't actually count as full movement. No, it's it's, it's a bonus action that just gives you 30 feet to boop. Beautiful. In but I think case, you have then, to be able to see it, like the area you want to go. So I'm going to misty step straight down, because I'm at the top still, aren't I? And it's 30 feet up. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to do that, yep. And then I'm going to move... Let me see. Misty step. I'm going to move here without attacking because i can move 60 without attacking so yeah, I'm um gonna you're gonna have to go around the thing 5 I'm 10 a, oh, 15 20 sorry, 25 sorry. 30 35 40 oh, 45 can 50. you can get you can get here that's fine then i'll go there oh nope. nope. stinking thing you can get there <laughs> sit me there then and then i can't attack or anything because i move too much and that's my turn echo okay. you're up so that dude is in there uh, let's see, one, two, I'm gonna go up to Dude Man, yeah. Move, Ooh, goddamn you, yeah. move! Are you going, you're going inside the center one? Yeah, because I'm assuming that, is that a uh, gorilla still a threat? No, that gorilla's done. Uh, Oh, okay, then no, 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 no. Okay. Go back to where I was. So, I want to head out. So, 5, 10, 15, maybe 25, but I can only really get to the steps. So, here we go. Oh, no, I can move 60. Uh, yeah, you can move 60 without uh, getting an attack. Although, you're within range. You could feasibly get, like, uh, an Eldritch Blast off and hit the... I was yeah. umming and ahhing. I think I'll go for the Eldritch Blast because... I'm gonna move uh, the wizard off, just so you can target better. But he he's riding the worm. Okay. Here we go. Actions. Eldritch blast. Where are you? There you go. Oof. No. Um. Yeah. Yeah. He dodged. No dice. Okay, then end turn for me. Hold on a minute. Why is your Eldritch Blast so low for attack? That doesn't seem right. Cantrip, Eldritch Blast. And it's plus five. Plus five. It should be working. Yep. Um, just, yeah, unlucky rolls. Uh, Eva, yeah. it's your turn. So here's a question. Is mm -hmm. there a window that I can strength check, just bash my way through to get outside? Yeah, there's one. Um, <laughs> how do I show it? Nice. So right here. Uh, oh, God. 
how, how, I'm gonna move like so right here. Oh yeah, okay. I you see, see a little it? thing that says, yeah, it says open. open. Yeah. So, so is it open or is it like a pane of glass or something? It's open, but it's about the size of like a human, and you're a big ass bear. So go ahead and you know roll a strength well, I'm check. Gonna, I'm gonna strength check. My, I'm gonna try to get the hell out of dodge. It's gonna happen. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, it's so so you happen. you burst through. Um, <laughs> but remember, you're you're at like my 40 feet in the air. Down. Uh, acrobatics check, maybe? Um, I'm trying to remember <laughs> how... I have no idea. So, I gotta look up. Falling damage is 1d6 damage for every 10 feet. Ooh. Um, so you would be taking 4d6 damage if you fall. Okay. Cool. Uh, is that... Is there a chance I might land on my feet, or am I breaking an ankle here somehow? <laughs> uh, well, I guess, um... I don't think there's no like a. I won't make you roll like an acrobatics or anything, but you, you will be taking the damage and if you jump through the window. Listen, I can I can tank it probably. <laughs> All right, probably. so you're here. I'll, I'll move you out. I gotta get outside. Okay, so <laughs> you're you're jumping out of there. Way. So that was yeah, five, well. 10, 15, 20. So you you you've moved twenty feet. Um, okay. here's some damage. Roll that Damagi. Uh, 11 damage. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, that was that's not too the lowest bad. roll I've done already. Just tank it, that's alright. Um, uh, and then how many more feet do I have? Uh, you have. Uh, Brown Bear's okay. move is 40, right? I think so. Yes, so you moved 20. Uh, okay, so you can so move 20, 20 more, or you can try to book, like, run it and get a full 80. Uh. I might as well. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'll be able to make it if I just do regular. But if I book it, I won't get an attack. But I'd rather get closer than do anything else. I think. So I'm gonna try to book it next to this weird bed thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna book it. Actually, if I go around, it would be what 35. Yeah, something like that. Oh god. So does that mean I could still get an attack in, or is that too many? If you're feet? here. Actually, yeah. If you're here, you actually can get an attack. You're you're within the range. Right. You also, know what? he's supposed to be go for it. large. I, I don't know why he whichever. keeps shrinking. What's, eh, he just wants to be small. It's okay. <laughs> I'm uh, small. Right, we'll go for it. You know what? Never mind with Miss. the bite. <laughs> it's just it's the claws, man. Yep. It's just the claws. Yeah, there it it's is. the claws. It's the claws. Every time. Every time. You just don't like stuff in your mouth. No, I really. Oh, that phrasing but okay yeah no <laughs> bonk i'm 12 listen it's <laughs> um how wait. do you just <clears throat> uh kirin is unconscious why is he not unconscious okay. in the thing unconscious all right Oop. uh pancog it's your turn um you know what? I, I can't really do a whole bunch except for attempt, uh, potentially attempt to save my cat. Um, I don't even care about myself. I'm just gonna save my cat. I mean, I'm going to force carry in. You you can to still attack. Potion. Are you I marking? Mean, but are, I also. Are you marking off your potions in your inventory, by the way? Uh, yes, I only have one potion. <laughs> Okay. Um, so how much is the health potion? Um, it should be in your actions tab. There's a a health potion that you can just drag on. A potion of healing into your equipment and items. Just drag that on. To Kyrian. And you heal him out from unconscious state. Okay. Can I have Kyrian move uh, behind me? No, because uh, you you recovered him. Uh, actually, you know what? That could probably work because you could do it before him. I healed him on my turn. Yeah. Um. He he gets move. 
Um, when you stand up from prone, it uses half his speed, so I think he can move 20 feet. Uh, he can move 25 feet. Um, and yeah, fortunately for you, he, he is not within... That, apparently, he can't move any further than that because the fantasy rounds, but... Yeah, so he's out of range. Okay. Uh, with that, that in my turn. Uh, Noke's turn. He is going to Ray of Frost. Oh, why can't I just do this? It would make my life so much easier. And there's no information on it. Oh, come on. All right, but it's 60 feet. He's riding the thing. He is going to have to open stupid spells so I can cast the stupid thing. Ray of Frost. Uh, ranged spell attack. So he is going I to attack. I death at this point. <laughs> I think D20. we all have. All right, he's attacking Lushu with his array of frost. If I can yeah. roll. Uh, my it is a fifteen. Does that uh, hit or miss? Um, it's 15 plus 5. Oh! So, he hit... Uncanny dodge! <laughs> <laughs> I love uncanny dodge. It's yeah, so, so you are gonna good. take, um... It's 1d8. Um, so you'll take... You, you take <laughs> one... You took one damage. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, you took one damage with your uncanny dodge. Ooh, um... You, you still <laughs> had your, uh, temporary health hit points still, apparently. Um, but, since you took hit, um, you are... Your speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of your next turn. Which That's is, right. is fine. Turn. Yeah. Um, uh, what the hell what was that? Oh. Okay, so that the, the, the splinter breath that the dragon did, uh, that's what that just rolled. So he can't do that again uh, for a while. But he is going to make a bite attack on Lushu. He do a chomp, and Lucy misses, or he he dodges, and then oh, his about. other bite, chomp, chomp, and that one hits, and that's the one you should have uncanny dodged. I wish I'd have saved it. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Yeah, damn. you just took a, a fat load of damage. I got twelve HP left. Jesus. And uh, the sheep is hiding. Uh, Lushu, your turn. Mm -hmm. Right, I get my after crystal bow of uh, my sneak attack as well. Let me drag it on. There we go. Alright then, so, main hand. Not a one. Dude, that one showed up like six yeah, times. I saw that. I saw that. That made me cry all You hit him? Hit... Alright then, so, extra damage. Why doesn't it fucking count? Alright, so, eight damage there, plus the. 3d6 for the sneak attack. There you 11. Go. So all 19, right. 19 damage all there. Um, and then my offhand. And. Oh, well. Oh, oh, oh. Does that hit? Hold on, I'm calculating 30. Um, you hit. Fantastic. And then there's my offhand damage. That's alright. Yep. That's alright. Um, um, you, you seem to take a, a chunk out of one of the. Or you do some slices into the, the wings of the. The pillow dragon, and uh, it seems to not be able to maintain uh, its flight as well anymore. Huge. And uh, it's it's uh, looks like it's it's uh, being it's hurting. If it can hurt, can it's, I a, use it's a, a pillow. Bonus action to use a health potion or not? Uh, potions are uh, action. And then I cannot. Okay, mm -hmm. that'll be my turn then. Uh, Echo's turn. Okay, let's go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Move a 25. Move from here to there. Move, goddamn you. You're moving there? Yep. And then I'm going to Eldritch Blast straight forwards. Uh, uh, on so the, the Drake or uh, the Wizard? The. Mm, I'm hoping to get both, because it's a 
120, but... Oh, that's right. You can do... Uh, you can split your Eldritch Blast. Because of your level. Let's see, so... That's 11. Uh, you hit the worm. So you can actually... You can target both your beams onto one target, or you can split them and roll two separate attacks. Uh, I'm gonna split them, I guess. Okay, so roll on so, the wizard as well. Boom. Uh, you hit. Um, so before nice. you before you do damage, so essentially you'll do uh, one d10, a uh, plus two to each of them. Yeah. Um. So you'll have to do it manually because the the one that you see in your drop down is a two d10. Yeah. Um. So, so one d10 each. Yep. And then uh, he needs to roll a concentration check. That's a d10, isn't it? Oh yes. my god. Yep. Ooh, so the dragon just damn. took twelve damage, and he just took six. The dragon took twelve damage. He just took six. Okay, so he has to roll uh, a save. He fails. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so he fails that uh, his concentration, and you see the the dragon wormling just kind of and it just crumbles into a pile of bedding. Perfect, go for that. Time to go. And. Uh, <laughs> Once that happens, and since he's surrounded by you guys, he panics. Wait, wait, please, spare me. Nah, oh, bitch. nah, nah, man, nah. Uh, nah, bitch, nah, he did. Nah, I don't give a fuck. He did. You actually want to murder lady him? Murder, mur full murderation, my dude. Full okay. He's going ham on us. Yeah. All of it. Okay. All for the sake of a fucking sheep, not nah, bun him. Okay. <laughs> um, then we'll we'll continue it. Eva, go for it. You caused us to lose a party member, and nearly cost me my faithful pet companion. Death, sir. We'll keep the combat music up then. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna have to do something awesome. You're getting out of here. Life for life. Yep. For one, you grabs his ink and his dagger, and he dips the dagger. In here you go. Oh, the music's fitting. Y'all gonna get become chaotic evil here. <laughs> Eva, it's your turn. I recommend you just all go in and stab him at once. I mean, you guys are still on initiative, so you have to go in turn, but. Uh, oh man, he's not getting it. I'm still mad. Kill him. Kill him. Sorry, buddy. Not happening today. Let's do it. Uh, you hit. <laughs> For once. Oh, nice. Uh, he passed. Oh wait, that's his concentration. He, why does he have concentration up now? He already failed that. Um, whatever. Um, so, but you did damage. Go for it. Uh, All right, buddy boy. Time to ah, now this time it's claws. Dang it! And it, it just said you attack. Oh, that's your your roll of ten. Yeah, yeah. Um, does that hit? Where's your? No, that misses. Okay, cool. He's done. He's done for. He's onion rings. Buddy boy is done for. Hancock, really you're up. Is. He's onion rings. I cannot explain how much I love that. <laughs> what, Dunion Rings? I love that, I love that, dude. <laughs> so good. Alright, what are you doing, Pancog? Uh, Kyrian's safe now. I am going to attempt to hit this person with a flippin' arrow. Do it. Do it. Wait, I'm in the way. Wait, Kill him. Do it. <laughs> Wait, me and Basha are in the way. Do it. Yeah. Basha's dead. Oh, yeah. Basha's dead. Well, yeah, Basha's laying on the ground. Oh, okay. And I ignore three. Well, I'm there. Kind yeah, you you can still hit him because uh, you oh, have yeah, because of your feet you literally. Yeah, <laughs> you don't get a. He doesn't get a cover bonus because Lucius there. For the sake of it. When you fire the arrow, I'm gonna hit a backflip. I was gonna say, if you hit a one, I'm, yeah. you're getting shot right in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> um, you hit him. Now that would be uncomfortable. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Just a <laughs> bit. <laughs> How much? Alright, roll damage. 
had a meaty butt. Fucking. <laughs> 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 Put that on the resume. <laughs> oh shit! And you did damage. Just gonna, gonna hang out. All right. Um, with uh, with all this attacks, he's seeing that he's kind of uh, in a bad predicament here. Uh, he he panics and pulls out uh, a sparkling wand. It says, "I will not be made with fool of," and just kind of and activates the wand as transmutate uh, as a as a polymorph. But the Don't wand seems it <laughs> crackles in it. Um, as is it crackles, it fizzes out and now and it uh, seems to malfunction with a loud explosion, explosive sound, and uh, he transforms. It's like when Voldemort tries to use the elder one to fluff that. Yep, and he transforms into a nasty pile of flesh and deformed goo. That's disgusting. Uh, he's now a misshapen pile of flesh. Uh, it starts to bellow incoherently uh, in from its dozens of mouths. Um, so, uh, we're putting this thing out of its misery, right, guys? Uh, kind oh, of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's, that is kind <laughs> of what's happening here. Okay, no, 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 fire. no, with fire. Just, just <laughs> hit it with fire. Lucian just drops his weapon, turns around, <laughs> and is like, put the two middle fingers up, and talks away. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> He's like, I am not having none of this shit. Um, <laughs> he is going to... Um, as as he uh, kind of shows up, the, his uh, his body is just leaking fluids and stuff. So any ten feet around him is a uh, difficult terrain. That just means that daggers will slide in him easier. Yeah, you hope so. Uh, he he's babbling incoherently. Um, oh, that that just happens. Okay, um, but he's going to attack. Um, he does a. Oh, you're right next to him. Yeah, he's absolutely. He, he's gonna he's gonna take a bite out of you with one of his uh his mouths. Let him try. Let him try. He hits. Do I dodge that? Oh, I have fifth. Okay. Uh, so you have to choose uncanny happens. dodge before the damage is done, yeah, right? Um, I don't think I have uncanny dodge yet because that hasn't been my turn again since I used it. I get it once per turn. So once every time. Is it per turn, turn or per round? I think it's per turn. Or is it per round? Per when an attacker turn. you can see hits you with an attack, you can use reaction. Um. It doesn't tell you. Uh, one reaction. How often does the reaction happen? It's on. You get one reaction per turn. So yeah, it's not recharged yet. <clears throat> yep, I have to wait. Oh, I've only got like 12 HP. Yeah, you're not gonna have a fun time. Uh, you see, what you could do right now is you could attack the bear. <laughs> like, cause like, their HP. No, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Lushu is uh dying. Oh, and. No. You roll a strength check, and you are... Actually, you're on the ground. You're on the ground. He doesn't need to roll that, but he gets a secondary attack. Uh-oh. And uh, attacks the bear. Okay, good. Come at me, bro. And you dodge. <laughs> bear dodge. Um, stressful, dude. <laughs> that dragon is out. Stinking sheep. I'm hiding the sheep so it doesn't show up in the stinking tracker. Uh, Lushu, um, you passed the death save. Hell yeah. Um, so, good for you. Um, Echo's turn. Okay. I'm gonna go... Hold on, hold on. You're, you're within 10, 20 feet of him, so you need to roll a wisdom save, which, actually, um, I can just do that from here. It makes it easier. I think. Um, maybe not. No! I can't. Okay. There, there it goes. There's your wisdom save. You roll a natural twenty. Wow. Um. So you pass it. You're fine. Uh. So go ahead and do whatever you were gonna do. Uh, okay. So um, I am going to. Oh, decisions, decisions. Um. <laughs> Right, I guess I am going to... Mm, maybe Acid Splash. Uh, you might... You'll hit Lushu or the or uh, Eva, because it's a cone. Uh, mm. Okay, um... 
I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. Uh, exactly. <laughs> what about scorching, scorching Ray? Uh, no. I think what, Fireball. That's a huge area. You'll hit, you'll absolutely yeah, hit I one of them. I mean, I'm almost already dead. <laughs> I, 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 if you cast Fireball, I'm sleeping on the sofa tonight. <laughs> okay. Tell you what, we'll go with good old trusty Eldritch Blast. Got that. Right, go for it. Okay. And you'll target both of them at him, so you only need to roll once uh, for a hit. Oh, and, fuck off. Oh. Dude, you're just cursed with your Eldritch Blast for some reason. It's, oh, it's a Warlock's yeah. bread and butter, and for some reason yours oh. misses. Also, um, you're within 20 feet of him, and the, the mm -hmm. incoherent babbling of the... Uh, of the creature here is if you're within that range it's messing with you we'll say that's why uh you couldn't get your eldritch blast off but you still have your movement you could move okay. away i am gonna move away i'm gonna move uh, down it's about here move there we go all right you're good all right and uh, eva Oh, I'm going for it. Pull something out. This thing needs to die. I know. Save me. Uh, oh, it's at the start of your turn, by the way. You need to uh, roll a wisdom oh. save. Hold on, I got this. Oh, yeah. Let's see if you make it. You... You pass. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't know if the 14 hits, though, with the bite. Um... Oh, it didn't... Um... You can drag it on them uh, to help, but let's see. Four, oh, you fucking... Yeah, he, he has like nothing there. He's just a gibbering uh, flesh okay. pile. So their armor's garbage. All right, so I can I can roll on that. On yeah, him? go ahead and do damage. Okay, cool. That's only a little, but now we pull out the tried and true. Or not. You hit. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, you still hit. <laughs> <laughs> and that was some good damage. Oh, yeah. All right. We better get this thing to heck off uh Hancock it's your turn um okay uh do, 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 do. what can I actually do not a lot um no. do, 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 do. where's the shoe uh he's laying down in front of him the enemy there okay I'm gonna move up to behind the shoe Okay. So that I'm in touch range, and I'm gonna cast uh, cure wounds at first. Appreciate level. you <laughs> so much. Apparently, wait, wait, I'm wait. the only one that has cast. Well, no, uh, Vasha has a lot of heals, but unfortunately, she went down. Do you have spell dead. slots left? Oh, you can only cast at uh, tier one, right? Yeah. But you know, four damage, or that's enough, right? To make you at least conscious again. All right. Yeah, barely, barely. <laughs> He's at twenty-nine hey, health. It's, you only need three. one life, right? You need one HP. You only get one shot, and that. And, and with that, that's my turn. Um, You're gonna keep carrying back. I'm not rescuing the cat, okay? Okay. The cat already almost died. Um. This thing is mindless, so the bear just hit him, so he's just, you know, his body is just reacting and is going to attack bear. I can take it, bro. Oh, the bear it. can take it. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's uh, so that cool. one hits. Bear? The secondary attack also hits. So there's the first attack. Ouch. Yep. That's all right. Um, strength save for you. Uh, you pass. Here's the second volley. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. That might pop you out. It might. Yeah, yep. it okay. pop me out. You are normal form uh, now. Yikes, okay. How come you have... There's two Evas on my combat tracker now. That's weird. Oh! It's because it re-added you because oh, you popped yeah. out of form. That's annoying. <laughs> that bug is still weird. Yep. Um, okay. So now you do a strength save onto you. And... You successfully pass it, but you are now the first time ever forced to be popped out of your bear. That's we'll we'll make it work. Uh, Lushu, 
make you are barely managing to hang on to life here, but you kind of wake up and you see this slimy thing right before you. Uh, you do have to roll a uh, wisdom save. Oh, where is it? I always forget. Open. I got to keep this thing open so I can see it. Um, wisdom save for you, Lushu. And you fail. Um, on a failure, you can't take reactions until the start of your next turn. Um, this is your turn. Okay, so roll a d8. Okay, oh five. <laughs> the creature takes no... You take no action or bonus action. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the incoherent babbling distracts you on a roll of a five or a six you take no actions or bonus actions and you moves you use all your movement to move in a randomly determined direction oh my god and that means you would take an attack of opportunity so roll i don't know Choose a random direction, and you have to move that full way, but you take an attack of opportunity. Okay, I'm gonna go to the right. How far do I go? Um, your full, your full movement. So, thir full 60 feet. 60 or... S raw, okay. Um, in that case, bear with me. Oop, uh, oop. that's five. So, we'll say... Oh, shit. 55, right there. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Yeah, he just fucking booked it, and he gets an attack. Uncanny dodge. You can't. No, not yet. I know. <laughs> well, you couldn't even because uh, apparently the mouthing hits uh, keeps you from using anything. Ah! You're yeah. You're, you're dying you're again. <laughs> oh god, and. Uh, well, pancake, I appreciate you. Like, well, but... you're just knocked out again. Oh, that means you can't run. Because if essentially he knocks you down during your run, you don't move anywhere, right? And I don't need to roll those other saves because you're on the ground. All right, so you stood up for a second only to get beat back down. Echo's turn. Okay, let's see. Where am I? I am here. So I am going to. <laughs> what was that noise? Uh, that was him burping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I am going to cast fear. Um. Hold on a minute. He might be immune to it. Uh, Cause fear, they have to have an intelligence, right? Um. Let's see. Let's see. Here. Uh, wisdom save 13. Um, it, it just says onto a creature's, creature's worst fears, each creature in a 30 foot cone. Um, we want frightened by frightened, a creature mode. It doesn't say anything about it being restricted to anything. Yeah, that's weird. I thought um, they needed a. Look, thing for that. Fear is getting eaten. <laughs> Maybe it's cause fear. Yeah. It, it's gonna be eaten by like the flying spaghetti monster or something. Flying spaghetti. <laughs> um. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, try it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Well. Why wouldn't it let me drag it? Right. Um. Hold on a minute. What are you trying to do? You're trying to Can drag fear onto it. Yeah. Um, do you have spell slots? Yes. I have one spell slot, yes. Um, you can do it. Let's see. Fear. Grab. Oh, that's a cone. Fear is a cone. Oh, oh uh, no, we don't want a cone. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Cause fear is a... Cause fear, uh, you can target him with, because you're within 60 feet, right? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I am here. Okay. So if you want to use that one, you could. Okay. Cause fear. Alright, hang on. Is it that? Did I do it? Um, 
So you gave him it, but he has to roll a thing. Let's let's get that. Um, let's see. Spell save. He definitely fails. So now he's feared. I go for that. Uh, he's frightened. Okay. I gotta give you the the concentration check. There you go. Um, so yeah, he's frightened. Excellent. And he excellent. has to run from you, apparently now. Okay, so enter. Uh, Eva, normal form. Okay. Mm. Um, my usefulness has officially gone from tank to healer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> let me let me Oops. settle into this real quick. Um, okay, so oh, here's hold on. Question. We gotta oh, do go we gotta ahead. do the gibbering oh, yeah. mouth thing at you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What Here. save is that? I have my main sheet up now. Uh, I I have to drag it on you. Oh, you have to do. Oh, okay. Because okay. to check why? Because that's not your real you. Come on. There, that's the real you. There's, there's Stinking, two of me. Yep. <laughs> um, he's mouthing. Blah, 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 blah. Oh you doppelgangered yourself. I know. It's so uh, weird. you pass. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so I looked up the page for I have a second level druid spell that is healing spirit. Um, it oh, dope. says that. It's a range of 60 yep. feet, um, and as a bonus action, I can move the spirit up to 30 feet to a space I can see. Mm -hmm. Can I just put it, like, on Pancog, and will it hit Lushu? Or, like, between them? It's got a... Oh, my. That What's was a the catalyst. range? <laughs> uh, yeah, it can... Um... That was an anger thing. Yeah, that was like, like, what? <laughs> Oh, no, um, apparently a creature has to move into the spirit space. Oh, shoot. Okay. So you would have to literally cast it, cast it like on top of Lushu. Okay, so can I, can I do that then? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, the real here. question is, I've never done that before. How the heck do I do that? Uh, essentially, you just mark it off on your, your spell sheet as a, a okay. cast that you mark did. Mark off a second. Okay. Um, I will drag the concentration check onto you. Okay, cool. Um, is it going to affect the monster? I think it's only a five yeah, foot, it, so it shouldn't. And, it, and it's for friendlies. Okay, um, cool. Okay, so you have, um... You also have healing word. Um, oh, is that? Does that have a range? I didn't actually. Yeah, really healing that. word is a bonus action with sixty feet. It's a smaller spell, but it's the bonus of it is, or why it's somewhat better than a normal spell is because you can do it at range and it's only a bonus action. So you can okay. still do it, so, actually. Yeah, I'll actually do that then too, because I definitely want to help the boy out over here. Okay, so go ahead and <laughs> heal him up. Um, okay, how many, so... what level, you can cast it at third level if we really wanted. Yeah, I have no, I, I've used none of my spell slots, honestly, so I'm probably just going to do it at third just level. Just go ham, go for it. Um, yeah, so that's, I just, like, click it and then do the right click to three, right? Yep, or, right. so there's three yeah. dice, yes. Yeah. Okay. And I'm looking up your All spirit. Right. All right, Lushu. Get healed, bro. Woo! Nice. Nice. Listen, um, it's, also, it's a little bit counts. <laughs> you can also cast your spirit well, at higher levels good. too, and it increases its heals. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was a thing because it mm -hmm. doesn't actually. Oh wait, okay. That's yeah, at does, the bottom. Um, at higher levels. Oh, all right. Okay, increases one d six for each slot level above second. So I can only really do it at, at two d sixes because it's yep. already a level two. So. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do that on this poor man over here, cause oh my god, he needs help. He he can't get healed yet. Oh, he can't heal yet. Oh, because okay. it's on the start of their turn. Okay. Um, so I'll I'll just take that back. Um. Okay. Oh, you do all But you did heal him well, and he's no longer unconscious. Okay. Cool. That's that's my goal here. Uh, that's Pancock. <laughs> the man needs help. Good stuff. <laughs> and the the spear is on top of Lushu, so. Um. We'll just do that. Okay, so now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. so I am going to move back about right next to Echo. Oops. And I'm going to shoot the stupid thing in the face. Shoot the stupid thing in the face. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Let's hope I can roll something that actually helps. 
Uh, you yeah, hit? You probably will hit. <laughs> I do shit damage, because I did not mark anything with Hunter's Mark. Uh, you did some damage. Yep, um, let's see. Any damage is some damage. Oh, yeah, it says any creature can move into it and get healed. Well, I mean, it's a thing of blubbering mouths. Is it smart enough? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's in, it's not gonna, intelligent, so. So I'm going to have Kiri move right behind Lushu. Okay. So he could potentially get some of that healing spirit. Okay. And that's our turn. Okay, so it's the dude's turn. I'm reading up on the, the healing spirit to make sure we're doing this right. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've never... It's always been me as tank, so I'm not 100% sure how this all works. Until yeah. the spell ends, yeah. whenever you are a creature you can tank. see... This is my job now. On a turn or start this turn there, you can cause... Oh, you get to choose, so it could move there, and you could be like, no, he's not healing it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, well... And they get no... The... It, it requires no action. Denied. The spirit can heal a number of times equal to one plus your spell casting modifier, which is wisdom. So you get what three? Which I have. What is my wisdom? You get plus three. Here? Yeah. So it can essentially heal three times before it nice. poofs. Okay, cool. Um, Excellent. The thing shows up. Um, it doesn't have like any sort of a uh, stats or anything. That's weird. Um. But it's going to, and Eva, you're slightly out of its range, but it's just going to attack Lucio again. Dude, you're just a punching bag at this point. Yeah, that's, yeah. Not, that's not very nice. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I don't think that attack goes off yet because it's feared. I think it has to run. Right? Oh, God. I They're hate it for me. There's too many things. Echo, fear. How does this work? Ooh, construct the the frightened target can repeat saving throw at the end of its turn. Okay. Become frightened of you. Okay, so the frightened effect. What's the frightened effect? I think it just has to run. Or it just can't approach you. I think it's still... Yeah. I think it can still attack others. It just can't approach you. So it can still attack. It just cannot make any hostile actions towards Echo. So, it, oops. Uh, that was a hit. So he smacks Lushu. Ouch. Um... This is the start of new turn. You still don't get your uncanny dodge or anything. And he just critted. Wait a minute. Rip, Lushu. How did that? That's it. It didn't. Dead. It didn't. Lushu, my man. Yep, gone. I'm done. Pretty sure. No, that didn't work. Why didn't it work? There. How is it saying you're dodging? Because I have a 15 AC. Uh, right, but why is... Oh! That's why. Okay, the Mouther is feared, so it's affecting its attacks, I think. Because it rolled at disadvantage, and I couldn't figure out why. So, you lucky bastard. It, it, you passed by one. Why is that rolling? Uh, Lushu, you're up. All right. Barely hanging hang on to life, standing up, falling down, standing up, falling down. Uh, you do have to roll the mouthering thing. Right, Hold on. Does it affect you? You failed. Thank God. Okay, then. Um, um, no, you failed. I failed? Yes. Well, fuck uh, it, just kill Lucio in it. Why, uh, roll a d8. Uh, Okay, and wish for the best. Six. Same thing. Same thing as last time. Roll a run away at a random direction, but don't do it yet because we have to see if he hits you. Ah. He hits. Ah. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. You're dying again. That's it. You're not dead. You're just dying. Oh my god, Echo, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to uh, move over to Lushal. Oh, Here. hold! Wait, wait, wait! We forgot the spirit. We forgot the spirit. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, oh. So at the start of Lushu's turn, you get two d six heal. So uh, I'll just go ahead and roll it. Two d six. Uh, eight. You heal for eight. Um. So we'll do that afterwards. Um. Wait a minute. So he would be exceeded by two points. Oh god. So he's at. Yeah, he's at thirty-one life right now, out of thirty-three, or thirty. He has thirty-one damage out of thirty-three. Okay, there you go. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. Now it's Echo's turn. Are you gonna move next to Lushu? Yep. Shoot, and I'm Ballsy. gonna use my very last uh, potion of healing. Legend. So. Just throwing potions at people. Holy crap! Oh, Drink nice. this, you bastard! You just healed the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will. Uh, I will undo that. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. Uh, you healed Lushu for eight. Let me let me fix that. Lushu. Lushu for eight, so you are at um, 23 damage instead. Can I move or anything? Or, uh, uh, you can still move, but if you do, you... You, you will not take an attack of opportunity because he used it on Lushu. He already used okay. his reaction, so you could run away. I'm just gonna move say, down technically, if she moves close to the monster since it's afraid of her, would it be forced to run away then? Um, no, it just can't, um, it can't choose to move towards her or, uh, attack her. Or, if it attacks her, it's at disadvantage. I'm only gonna go a little bit away. Okay. Just, um, because I want to stay near. Right, there we go, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that will do. That will do. Oh, stay. There we go. And turn. Oop, oop, oop. Um, is that your turn? Map? Hello? Yep. Yeah, my map just wigged out for a second, too. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, Eva's what? turn. Okay, um, well, shoot. Okay, so I, as far as I know, this is like a concentration thing, right? So I have to keep, like, like, I can't do anything else? No, you can. Um, oh, okay, okay. it only I'm comes sure into effect if, like, if you get hit or something. Oh, um, oh okay, all right. Um, um, at the start of your turn... I think you can do it. Whenever you or a creature moves into the space, um, so technically, um, for the first time on its turn or starts its turn there. Oh, I, th I didn't know if it could do it at the start of your turn. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Although you could exploit it, I think. I think if you moved into it, it triggers again. Because it's whenever a creature enters it or you do. Oh, but it's to that creature. You wouldn't be able to cheat it by yeah. saying. Okay. Um. Jiminy, what do I have? Um. And you can't shift again, right? Because you already used both. No, I, right. I use both. Um. Okay. Dude. I could theoretically. I don't need a because it's a cantrip, so I wouldn't need a weapon for Thorn Whip, would I? No, it's a cantrip. Um, did you okay. use both your third level heal slots? Because you used your your yeah, spirit. Yeah, I think okay. I used both third level, okay. but I still have three second and four first. Gotcha. So, yeah, how do I... Is it just like... So where it says like attack melee plus six, do I just have to roll that then? For a thorn whip? Let's see. Yeah. Um, yeah, just drag that onto his head. Okay, all right. We'll see if we can get a... Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, wow, he dodged. Okay, well, uh, that's, I think, the only thing I can really do. Unless, 
Uh, you, is, you, you the healing st- word has a range, right? Because that's a yes. bonus, technically. Yes, and, and it's a bonus action, so you still could do it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm going to do that at second level and cast it on Lucy Push Mark. Yeah. Go for it. That sounds like a plan and a half. Okay. All I'll right. take it. That helps. I'll take it, you know. Yeah. Any any healing is healing. <laughs> Just face tanking by going unconscious here. <laughs> yeah. Hancock, you're up. Just keep helping him. That's all that matters. Okay, um, so if I was to cast Hail of Thorns... You're gonna hit all your friends. I thought Lucio had a move. No, he got, he got smacked unconscious again, remember? Oh, come on. But now he's conscious again. <laughs> You're always in the way when we're trying to cast spells. Ah, <laughs> uh, fine, I'll just shoot it. Like normal. Yeah, you hit. That's a damn good roll. Yeah. It did damage. Also, um... You, you figured out he has low AC. It would probably be advantageous to be using uh, your sharpshooter feed. Uh, but you did damage. Um, he is barely hanging on. You better be after all this. Um, a- oh, wait. No, 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 no. no. He's down. Please tell me he's dead. The thing kind of... And just kind of turns into a gooey flesh pile and it's like just kind of turns into a puddle. I was gonna say, um, with my last arrow that I shot, I shoot it through its eyeball, and then it just one of the twenty million eyeballs it has. <laughs> okay, with one of the eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> that eyeball in particular has my scorn. <laughs> um, it looked at me funny. Okay, well, what yeah, about, right. What about the roof of its mouth? It has like fifteen mouths. It's right just li- its mouths, eyeballs, and just gross. <laughs> Well, it's just one of the through. It's just yucky. And it just goes down. Um, but yeah, the thing kind of just turns into a nasty goo pile, and it's, it's uh, it's now been defeated. Oh, thank God! Holy crap! Um, and and uh, the wand, the wand, as it kind of just kind of squelches out, the wand kind of just is inside this fleshy goo pile. Uh, is just sitting there, and uh, I'm not touching they're making that. the sheep get it. The, the shine bright kind of comes like bounding over from hiding, like a little <clears throat> sheep bitch. This kind of comes on over here. Wait, you guys can't see him because I hit him. There you go. He comes over, and uh, he he happily like starts s- squishing his sheep face what? into this pile of gross, disgusting. Yep. Mm. No, um, thank you. And he, he he grabs the 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 wand and holds it in his mouth, and uh, I guess Lucius the the closest and try to hands it to you. Okay, can I reach out and grab it? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Because like, we probably have to me and Miss Creation probably have to be off. Yeah, very I was gonna say um, we can call it here, or we can just wrap this up. It's up to you guys. It's, like, it, it's midnight for us, and I've got to be up in eight hours to take Marilyn to school. Okay, so uh, let's call it here, and then and uh, we can wrap up. Um, there, we'll we'll leave it here. Uh, uh, et, or um, sorry, Nat, I'm gonna I'll talk to you like in Discord chat or something afterwards, and uh, we can figure some stuff out what you want to do. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for playing. That was a nasty fight that swung left, that left and right constantly. Yeah, I'm so sorry that sorry, no. Vasha oh my God. No. is uh, laying there. She fought I valiantly. So um, <laughs> but again, and Lucia kept almost dying. Literally. But again, if you rem- recall, this now. wizard is a powerful wizard, so you know you never know Look, no, what happens. Just a little bitch boy. Um. Oh yeah, so let's let's end it here so our friends can get off. Thank you guys so much for playing. I know that was rough. Um, hopefully you're not feeling discouraged, but I appreciate you guys playing. 
Was good Hopefully you had fun besides the, the... It was fun. I had, to, I had to hug my child. That was probably some of the wildest rolls I've ever seen happen in a single session. So uh, that was not unpredictable. Uh, but thanks, guys, for playing. Um, if you want to say goodbye to chat, uh, we can do that. Thank you for being there, guys. We heavily appreciate it. Hopefully I don't almost die next time. <laughs> Dude, dangerous, man. Dangerous. Yeah, dude. But right, yeah, I should probably be off because I hear Odin crying. Yeah, but um, Absolutely. my dude, cheers for the session. Appreciate it. Great session. And can't wait for next week. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> you guys can't see yourself. See you later. Bye bye. All right. Chat friends. Um, this, yeah, we're uh, obviously calling it here. Um, that was bananas. Oh, man. Uh, first actual player kill that happened in a campaign uh, I've run. Uh, that rips out my heart. Uh, Pancake, thank you so much for the treats for Jada. I don't know where she's at. So, oh, she's sleeping. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully uh, we can figure some things out here. Uh, heck off bots. Thank you so much, Moira. I appreciate you. Um, Coda, wow, we had a lot of people chatting. Sorry, guys, when we were playing, uh, we, we don't really ch chat much, especially me if I'm trying to run stuff. But I appreciate you guys being here, hoping you guys have fun. Um, I have plans for what I do to honor her as a player. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Vasha. Or Nat, uh, I'll, I'll text you in Discord here in after we log off um, to see, uh, just to clarify some things. But um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and uh, us as quarantine. We appreciate you guys being here. Hope you guys are having fun. Um, I'm excited to see what comes next um, with the party. Um, the the only the good thing, the silver lining I can take from this um, outcome is it's. Uh, I don't even know how to say this. Um, I hated the, the swingings. Like you can never, you can never account for that kind of stuff. And like the combat was based on the uh, counter level and stuff. Should have been a normal combat, like an average difficulty range. But some of those freaking swings came in, and once like a player goes down, uh, if you guys are unaware, that's called a death spiral, and uh it just gets progressively worse because every time a player goes down, that's less attacks, that's less uh, actions that a uh, the team makes, and that's just, it's essentially uh, strengthening the enemies. And with Vasha going down so soon, and then Lushu keep getting up and going down and then failing the saves to uh, avoid the gibbering mouthers' gross mouthing talks, um, that, that should have been just a, a normal encounter, but holy crap, that turned out nasty. Um, but I guess it kind of shows that, you know what, the world is a dangerous place. The The enemies are going to make intelligent decisions. They're going to do what they can to try to win. And unfortunately, that's kind of what came to pass. Uh, but we'll we'll see what happens next week. There, uh, There's potential and options available to us. But thank you guys so much for being here. We are quarantined. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Uh, justice for sheep, yes. <laughs> well, that's interesting because... Uh, you know, the sheep just kind of was a, all right, cool, we'll help this guy. But now, like, it caused so much problem. It, it caused one of the, the players to, or the, the characters to die. And one of the other players was barely surviving by just getting healed by the sake of the other uh, team members, just keeping them alive and face tanking uh, the best they could. Um, but the world is a dangerous place and will use tactics to their advantage and whatever they need. Sorry, but fuck the sheep. It killed my friend. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> um, but I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys, you know, as the, to the players, thank you guys so much for being awesome and uh, being aware that, you know, death is not the end of, like, the death may be an end of a character. You may be attached to the character, but it's not the end of you playing. You are not, you do not leave the campaign, you know. The best way to approach it, like, in my mind is like, damn, I lost my player. You know, take some minutes to, like, even if you need to, like, mourn or be be upset or whatever you need. But, you know, it's not over. Like, you can look at it as an opportunity. It's like, I get to do something else. Or I get to do, you know, any sort of opportunity is available. And uh, so hopefully um, you guys, you know, keep that in heart if ever something like this happens to you. Uh, any other fi fellow players as well that is, you know, part not part of quarantine, don't look at it as... Um, well, damn, I can't play anymore. It's like, no, it's unless you're obviously playing in, in a kill dungeon where it's see how far you can get without your party, party dying, obviously. But if, you know, DM should allow, it's like, my players are players in my campaign. They can make new characters. So 
Uh, I appreciate you guys being understanding and being awesome about that. You guys are amazing. Um, it's just, it's an opportunity. It's like, sweet. I get it. I get to try it. Maybe you had other ideas. Let's, let's fucking go, right? You guys are the members of my team. You guys are here. You guys are playing. Um, so you're, you're, you're participating. Um, I would like to come up with a way. It's hard to plan. Like, what do you do in a circumstance when a, there's a player kill? Like, as it's like, well, especially when it's so early in the session, it's such, such a bummer. Um, that, you know, Nat had to just sit there and watch things happen. I don't know. Maybe they were looking up new characters or something. You, you can entertain yourself, but I always feel bad to be like, oh man, I wish there was a way to be like, still involve them in the gameplay um, while, you know, their character is gone or something. So maybe we can think about that too. I don't know. Maybe we can have some pre made characters or something uh, for the players in situations like that. But then that kind of is like a splitting the party thing. Um, I don't know. It's something you made a whole ass character, dude. You're awesome. Thank you so much, Nat. You're, you're incredible. Um, I appreciate you being awesome. I hope, um, if you do decide or if that kind of works out, I hope it's a character you're stoked to, to play. Um, you, I already know exactly what character I'm bringing. Yeah. If something happens to Eva, see, you guys are awesome. You understand that it's like, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's happens. It adds the, ver what is that? Verisimilitude of the world. It's like, if, if, I, uh, if, I don't want to say I as the DM because that makes me feel like kind of the enemy. I'm not against you guys. I'm just, I'm another player. I'm just, you know, making the movements and the decisions that would happen. These people want to win. They're not going to pull punches um, because they don't know you're in a video game or, or a, a, a game session. You know, they're, they're going to do what they can. They want to win. They're not going to pull those punches. And I'm sure you guys are aware previously I had pulled uh, some punches and stuff every now and then because, you know, people are learning. But at this point, I think we're all kind of seasoned. We're kind of used to how things work. Um, we're starting to understand that the enemies will try to use uh, advantage or advantages to their advantage. They'll try to use tactics. They will try to exploit weaknesses and they're going to try to win. Uh, the world is a dangerous place. You, you saw when Rokex went down, that was obviously kind of a, a planned um character death that's why i'm not including it as my real character this was my first real actual like a character unplanned died so um i appreciate you guys being awesome about it and understanding and being hyped for what's to come uh working on some backups and know that i am not obviously trying to go out of my way to murder you guys that is not my intent um but like i said if we want this to feel real the enemies need to act like enemies right they're not gonna play easy um they're gonna do what they can to win and uh, unfortunately that means sometimes taking out an enemy of theirs so the di yeah dude um the dice were wild tonight um that opening attack literally the very first attack killed a player those monkeys aren't even that hard they they have 19 life and I think 10 armor, and he comes in doing max damage without a crit, and then crits the second attack and does almost max damage again. One less than max damage, and just fucking murderlates a player on the very first turn. The odds of that happening, someone can math that out. The odds of that happening are probably ridiculously low, like 0.5%. But it happens, you know, it's heckin' dice. Um, and the wild thing is, as a player, I roll garbage, but for some reason, as a DM, constant 19s and 20s. We, I was looking at uh, clips from weeks ago where I rolled two 20s and a 19 in succession. I've never seen that happen as me as a player. I've never rolled two 20s in a row as a player. I've rolled four ones in a row as a player, but anyways, I'm babbling. But yeah, if you guys wanted to, you know, uh, take notes... Um, you know, we'll we'll keep up with that idea of hey, we're we're doing notes, and you get a point of inspiration, which we should probably remember that a little more. <laughs> um, that inspiration is a thing. Um, and see, uh, there there I was there something I'm looking at too is uh, not buffing inspiration, but making it a little more impactful as opposed to oh, I get advantage on an attack or something. But uh, if something really cool happens, I can give a special kind of inspiration that rolls on a table of, you know something that can crazy happen um so that might be something i want to look into as well i did implement it i just haven't implemented it into the, into the game yet but thank you guys so much for being here i'm rambling it's kind of what i do it's my thing um but 
let's see um it's five i kind of wanted to do some games and stuff later we'll see how that works um out um i also have to do some dice stuff so i need to catch up on that also i just sold something on etsy so i have to go take care of that actually oh someone bought the really pretty one anyways um hey um we might we can probably go for a raid what do you guys think go send some love somewhere uh mute mute oh just in time yes eat some food i need to i need to eat as well um <laughs> everyone's doing backups I, I you guys are seriously like that means a lot to me that you're like hey in case something happens i still want to play you know um and you, you're not taking it personally i'm not like trying to focus i mean obviously the enemies will be like all right this guy's going down we want to make him go down but i'm not like intentionally trying to single someone out of the game um Let's see. Can, can we go send some love? So I think when uh, I did get a notification that one of my friends is streaming. Oh, she's playing Breath of the Wild. Yes. Oops. Let's go. Let's go raid Cuddlebug. She's a lovely friend of mine, a uh, real life friend of mine. Um, where is the raid town? Let's go give her some love. Uh, she's playing Breath of the Wild right now, which I love. And uh, she's an adorable person. She does um, dress ups and stuff, but she's she's currently dressed up playing Breath of the Wild. So if you guys want to hang out. Um, at least say hi. Let's see if we can uh, welcome her to Twitch and uh, bring her some smiles. The target only allows in-network raids. Excuse me? What is that? What's in-network raids? What the heck? Oh. Dude. Th they change stuff with raiding. Okay. Apparently we can't raid her um, because I think she needs to add me as... I think she follows me but i don't know what's going on but we're gonna host her anyways i forgot um to do that before uh i hosted but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me remember to spay new to your pets adopt a shop donate to a risk if you can afford it or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering this very rewarding experience and helps with animals and rescues out there very much need anyways i'm facev we're quarantined thank you so much for tuning in with us and we'll catch you guys next time see ya Yeah,